quiet night tonight so figured I might as well start with something quiet and then pick it up from there depending on where the night goes figured um I'd probably just get into Baldur's Gate 3 first um before I do anything else and uh hey if no one shows up live then whatever it's just another calm Saturday night right but, uh, I do want to continue my evil run. Because, uh, <laughs> we've only just started on that. Actually, I think we just got to Act 2. Hey, Rune. Um, later. Actually, it depends how many people show up tonight. Um, Rune, I know you're here. But until, you know, enough people show up, what I'm going to be doing is, um, in the drama chat, we were talking a bit about the, um, what is it, the, the Ramsey Rosa call, or whatever her fucking name was? The infamous call where Leo just pretends to be a tough guy the whole time and is yelling at people, and everyone's yelling at each other, and it's absolute chaos, and apparently it's something that's supposed to be helpful. But, uh, yeah. 
But in the meantime, uh, I do want to make a some make a some progress on uh, my evil run in Baldur's Gate three. But if we get enough people in here tonight, then uh, I'll probably cover it. I wanted to... So, the entire call itself is like four hours long. There was a lot of drama. Bear dating sim. Hey, what's up, Vlad? Uh, there was a lot of drama and it's only January. Has there been? What kind of drama have you seen lately, Rune? A lot of the stuff that we were kind of talking about is like old stuff, though. A lot of it's not new stuff. But it's stuff I haven't seen yet, but again, something of note I wanted to see is that Megs and Villanella mentioned that at towards the end of that call, Ponder actually jumps in to uh, chew them all out for going too far, is what they said. And that's something I didn't hear until just recently, so I want to know more about that. Need something? But anyway. If we have enough people in here, I'm all for, like, getting that started instead of this. But I'll wait until you guys- I'll wait and see what you guys think. <clears throat> Get some water. I didn't want to go through the whole thing again. It's four hours long and it's way too long and I can only handle those people, like, in short bursts. I'm entirely ignorant to the subject, just started looking into Ponder stuff. Well, Ponder Sprocket has been around the art commentary community for a while now. So, a lot of people look up and respect- uh, look up to and respect her opinions as well as her content. I mean, I'm one of them. I still do have a lot of respect for her content. Although, a lot of her- I'll just say actions, as of late, have called a lot of my faith in her personality into question. Hard to watch Akuma's video just because a lot of the people he clips into the video are painfully cringe. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, what- what confuses me is that despite apparently getting into this call with them and chewing them out, essentially, despite that, she still hangs out with Leo and is supposedly, like, friendly enough with him where she gets into calls with him, uh, a lot, apparently. So, that's the part I'm confused about. Yeah, it's not Akumu's fault, obviously. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we haven't actually... I was thinking of my other playthrough then, but there's a lot of stuff that we haven't done here yet. We could go up to... Actually, it's probably for the best that we go up to Joaquin's, Joaquin's Reach. And uh, get the house fire thing going. <laughs> We'll just take advantage of the chaos and just start slaughtering people. That should be relatively easy. Is Ponder female? See, as I said, I'm ignorant. Yes, Ponder is female. Based on her somewhat dishonest approach to Akumu's situation, and also... Oh, we haven't seen the devil yet, have we? Okay, we'll just do that then. That's or not? Okay, I guess... I guess we have seen him. Don't fancy getting my hands dirty. I need a shovel. Well, apparently Ponder and... No God damn it. Shovel. Apparently Ponder and Jar used to be good friends, and I think maybe they were dating at some point, but they've had a falling out recently. I think? I could be totally wrong. So... 
But I think they were close, but now they're not as close anymore. Okay, so here we have the, uh... Something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. Well, we we'll just might as well get into it. The beautiful broken heap smells oddly enticing. <laughs> no. You can't resist inhaling her offals. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. Sounds you like watch it. With cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. I haven't heard from you in a while, Gilda. What you been up to? Darling pups will not be of her own species. Knolls bring forth their iniquitous litter from many corpsed wombs, including hyenas. Ripperoni. Um, strike while the beast is vulnerable. Strike against her skull. She yelps, then goes still. Whatever horrific creature was growing inside the hyena dies along with her. Animal abuse, animal abuse. But yeah, that's that's just what confuses me about the whole situation is that if if what they did, it, I mean, maybe you could maybe you could say like, hey, maybe she doesn't realize that. Or maybe she thinks that they're different now, or that she they changed? I'm not sure. It's all confusing to me, still. I'm just gonna go up this way to cut them off. Oh wait, we don't have to do that. Never mind. Oh well. Still position myself well, I suppose. Oh god damn it. I just needed... Oh, one more. <laughs> Ethel, what's your opinion on bestiality? <laughs> uh, obviously it's wrong and fucked up. Oh, I should have gone for the one that was... Damn it, I'm so dumb. I should have gone for the one that had one HP. Where do I go from here? Fuck. Get him. There you go. It certainly puts the miracle of birth in a new light. Is it a good idea to own that material to troll people with? I don't agree with that. However, it's not illegal to do that, and it does not make you a zoophile or a bestialist. If that's how you use that term. I don't agree with it. I don't think it's a good idea, but... Having that material doesn't make you a zoophile, and... It's also not illegal depending on the state you live in. Let's have a little fun. Bam. Are we actually still in rage? No, it, I, we just don't have it for some reason. Rage charge. Oh, uh, we, I guess we don't have it right now. Oh, we do. But I don't have my bonus action, so... I gotcha. It's literally not, though. If simply having that material to troll people with makes you a zoophile, 
than having that material to troll- than- than- Okay, let's say you're a straight guy, and I've, I've used this example before. Let's say you're a straight guy, and you want to troll, like, the Westboro Baptist Church's, like, Facebook page with, like, gay pornography or gay material. Just having that, does that make that straight person inherently gay just for having that material to troll people with? It's the same logic being used. Let's do it. <laughs> what path lies before me? Just wanted to check and see, thanks. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, man. Breathe deep and move. Hey, at least we get free XP here. Best to make. Lizelle, we just rested, and now you're like, I'm sleepy. We still got shit to do. Oh, we can come in here and kill these motherfuckers. Time for discretion. One day I'll catch a break. <laughs> Oh shit. Ah. Let's see. Get him. Nice. You were doing a lot of that while on a drinking binge, so you could you could say that you were also drunk at the time that you were doing those things? Not saying that makes it okay in my eyes, but I still wouldn't do that. Loser. <laughs> Get hit. Referring to the me what I have been up to. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thought you were talking about the uh, zoo porn thing. What if I uh, IRL has been a pain in the ass so much so that I was taking it out on randos in a bunch of servers, and so I mass left like 25 servers. I did notice that. I'm only in six now. I kind of figured that you were probably going through something. Or, you know, dealing with some shit. So I figured it would just be better to leave it be. But, uh, I'm glad to hear that things are doing alright. Someone? Oh. Nope, okay. I fucked up. Never mind. Nice. The shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself You're spending a lot of money on home repairs? Uh, I see. Yeah, that's not fun. It's not fun when shit Feast. goes down. No. A voice has forbidden this meat. No, see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't As the symbol Oops. glows, power courses through you. Authority. Um... A memory. The beast daubs the Siberian deep. Oops. 
A tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna kill her anyway. Hey! Well, I could probably use the could have probably used the dash. Oh well. Damn it, Shadowheart. Gonna send him up that way. North and I were playing this uh, game together the other day. We were playing on honor mode. Oh shit. It's not going to help you that much. Protect me, boyfriend! This way. Time for a new approach. What now? Do I have any potions? Uh, I do. But I'd rather save it. Oh, that way. Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Yeah, the winter this year hasn't been fun. I can't even make actual videos, and likely won't be able to until the next month. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. By the gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? All I saw was blood and guts. Damn it. I guess that's a no. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard. <laughs> Starion just standing in the background. I'll stay friendly. So long as you hand over all your goods. Hold on now. You made short work of the beasts. And I reckon you'd make shorter of me and the boy. But we're not plump little merchants you can boss around. <clears throat> we're Zahentarim. If your bosses come after the chest, I'll kill them as well. Tougher bastards than you have tried. Let's just go our separate ways and be thankful we're all in one piece. Most I could do is rip you off and record a Discord call reading of a Google Doc. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you had your chance. Either way, the car goes mine. Bloody fool! May the <clears throat> black hand take you. Now they see me. Uh-oh. Blood follows me every Can't slow down. I'm coming for you, little boy.
Reading Google Docs and the ripoff. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. <laughs> that's more of North's thing than it is mine. I usually just react to shit. Ouch. Whatever comes, I'm ready. You wasted all your two spells already. Fast. I must heal. Alright. How delicious. Still breathing, despite everything. Don't mm. touch me. Should be easy. It was another Neora doc this time. It's only three pages. I did see that, and North also reacted to that. Damn it. Come on, Astarian, you can do better than that. Seriously? After all these buffs that he has? Oh, wow, okay. Get a nat 20? Alright. It must be something valuable inside. So, what are we waiting for? Let's crack it open and see. Okay, Astarian. Uh, I'm gonna save here, because I actually don't know what this does, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Investigate the flask, even though I've got no arcana skill whatsoever. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping- Well, what'd you think of it? The sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited. So am I gonna use it? flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Remove the stopper. The flask shudders in your hand, then magical energy emanates from its neck as a creature emerges. Oh, is that it? Oh, damn! Oh, shit! Oh! Okay! Actually, you know what? I want to keep that. Hang on. Uh, let's go back. If it brings out a spectator, I want to keep that. Because I can use that in the future. When I'm in the middle of Baldur's Gate, the city, I can just, like, pull that bad boy out <clears throat> and unleash it on everybody. Oh, god damn it. Okay, hold on. Go back a little bit more. That'll come in handy. I don't really know much about Neora, nor do I care. It just sounds like she's another one of those people who just can't let things go. And gets herself into trouble needlessly. Like another person who just doesn't know when to stop. Must be on my way. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Okay, well, that was pointless then. Smash it open. There we go. Damn it, Astarian. Someone there. Go. <laughs> Don't 
dumb fuck. <laughs> fuck. All right, Lazel. I crave blood. I think Lazel can give him enhanced shit. Well, fuck. You're fucked, Astarian. You're just fucked. I don't think we have any kind of teleportation thing for him. That's why I didn't want you to jump over here, you idiot. For a dull moment. Whatever, we'll just leave him here for now. Ahead. Until we teleport elsewhere. Pretty much? Yeah. Hmm. You guys are coming? Come on. Just like a trap trap. Ah. Move with purpose. Well, one of us is gonna have to do it. There we go. However, now I am in much more interesting drama. I've been accused of adopting Jordan and hosting a gay up against an alleged victim who spammed penis and sex in my server. Yes, really. What? That makes no sense. You sure people aren't just making that accusation of you just to take the piss out of you? That's what I would do. Not actually, but... Um... Come on, you can do it. You're a barbarian, damn it. There you go. Nice. What do we get? Wow. Ah. Actually, that would be good because the gloves I have on right now are kind of useless for any of us. There we go. What do you mean I can't reach this? <clears throat> if you know, so Brian Mullins is saying that? I remember who Brian Mullins is, because I remember the, uh... The stuff. I remember. Oh, whoops. Ouch. My bad. <clears throat> Not much around here. I'll go down that way and try not to trigger the, uh, the boulder. Oh, damn. Okay, we'll send some of these barrels to camp. Since we have quite a few of them. Should send that to camp. Okay. 
Okay. Come on, guys. Seriously? Shit. Okay, then we won't risk it if none of us see it. Okay, let's head back to... Actually, there's a port up there we can trigger. We also have to find Karlak. But one thing at a time. That's who's saying it, and he's implicated my entire server as a result. My server's going apeshit over it. <laughs> Sucks, man. Hope it works out. First, we'll go this way to grab that port. And then we'll just start killing. Oh boy, here I go killing again. We'll get that... Get that port so we can bring uh, a Starian over. Hopefully. Where is the port, anyway? Was it in here? I think so. So it is spoken, and so is it done. Smoke. Something's burning. Heh, <laughs> no way, Lazel. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Why do you care? Also, Shadowheart's stuck now. Sucks for him, not me. Uh, Brian Mullen's room was made in my server and the entire server has actually worked together to comb through the guy's entire internet files. Well, you don't have to look too hard, apparently. Great God Helm. Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we would be reckless. You know what this would be a good time for? So it is spoken. I think we all know what it's a good time for. Hazel? Hazel? Assume nothing. You don't need that many, I don't think, but whatever. Why risk it? Sleeping eyes. Hey, you want to trade? Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. There you go. Like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I 
Just a robot is a massive moron. Genuinely don't understand how he has 200k subs. Yeah. I don't know how any, like, how most of these people have... Actually, you know what? That's a lie. I know how they got their huge followings. It's pretty simple when you think about it. People just don't think for themselves. And then, like, they'll try to- they'll try and act like they're promoting, like, Hey, think for yourselves, guys. But then they don't like it when people criticize or question their actions. So, they always contradict themselves. And nobody- nobody calls it out because of their size and their popularity. Whoops. I really need to organize my thing. Really? Come on, guys. Stop missing all your shots. That's the point, Lizelle. Okay, this might take a while. Tuh. You know what? I have a better idea. No hesitation. There we go. Assume nothing. So, that's progress. Come. Nope. You're not going anywhere, darling. Action, not reaction. The fuck? Stop me yet. There is work to do. There we go. What to do? <laughs> She's like, don't care. <laughs> what the fuck? She did not care. Okay, whatever. We'll see her when we get outside. She did not give a shit. Alright. What now? Have I been this way before? Oh, I was wondering why they were making that noise. Oh look, he stopped screaming. Oh no, he's still screaming. That's okay. That's okay, he can go fuck himself. Fresh air. At last. Your I'm almost at 1,700 subs, and I genuinely don't get it. My content is Listen illegal, close. is literal Drow too. have taken Grand <laughs> Older Raven Guard. Westward. If my eyes I love hearing the explosions head. in the background. I must report to the Flaming Fist Manip with Ist. And you. I must ask again for your aid. Please, 
Rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? Hmm. I don't know fealty to some upper city tough. It is not fealty, I ask, but a great favor on behalf of our city. Grand Duke Ravenguard, without I know. him, the city faces collapse. In fact, I fear that may... I see your goodwill has limits. Far be it from me to stretch them. Should you hear word of Ravenguard, seek me out. She asks. She far. asks for aids. I still get the reward. That's funny. Even though I killed all of her men. Wait, where'd she go? No, come back. You're not going anywhere. Not this time. There we go. Yo, what? Oh, fuck. That's not good. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that's, that's fine. I thought she was gonna kill, kick my ass. Well then. Thanks for the money, Not thanks for the bow. Where's this fucking waypoint, though? How come we haven't bumped into it? Oh, we have. Okay, there we go. Makes my life easier. That's why I killed her. She was asking for AIDS. Like, what? Um, no. Astarian. Watch your back. I know you're a vampire and vampires don't like fire, but you're gonna have to get over it. I've got a long road ahead. <clears throat> my feet can carry me. The ox tenses, horns lowered in your direction. Ah, shoot. I got it, don't worry. Easy. His hide twitches, every muscle primed to bolt. He's terrified. Hold out your hands peacefully. Well, we tried. You manage only to add his glassy eyes. We tried. We'll do it my way. With the net. We're just putting him down the peaceful way. Whoa! Whoa! With haste. I really don't like the narration. I can literally see that the bull is scared. I don't need to be told. Yeah, it's it's whatever. Sometimes it does over-explain nice. shit. And a thing. I was expecting a needle. Show it on tell. I agree. It's supposed. It's it's trying to emulate the D and D style of like narration, because typically you would have to have these things told to you in a D and D setting. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. On the hunt. Nice. Maybe we should uh, take as many of these barrels as we can before he does something hasty. Hmm.
wish I could get around this. I don't think I can. Bugger! Uh, wait, listen. He freezes, waiting on your next word. Careful, you won't kill me, but you will make me mad. Fuck! Hey, Akumu. What's going on? Right, look. If it's business you're about, then be about it. Flame and Fist could be on us any minute. Down you go. There are a plethora of D&D games. None of them do that because they all recognize it's a visual format. I know, I know. I'm just saying that that's what I'm pretty sure this game is trying to emulate. Okay, you're good. I have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. Hang on, let's, let's, uh, let's take all these fucking barrels. Oh, action, not reaction. We're going to use these in the future. One true way. All's Thank well you, Lazo. Not as bad as it could have. Chilling and really tired, can't sleep because of ear ringing? Nah, you got tinnitus? I'm sorry to hear that. Need to find a way forward. Stayed interesting. Light on my feet. Keep your distance, darling. Let's move. <sighs> Have to keep going. I know what they're going for, Time I just don't have autism. <laughs> Okay. I'm just waiting. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I know they're gonna attack us, so... Or actually, maybe they won't. Only one way to find out. Mind, never quiet. Never wanted the easy path. That's far enough! What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Hmm. Slip back into the shadows. You can try, but I'll take your skulls as trophies. Why am I failing at everything? Fuck! You will, will you? I suggest you turn around. Prost! Lads! I think the game needs more narration. Just go all the way full. I don't think we need that. Uh, all right, Astarian. You know what to do.
Yes, I know, Vlad, I know. Can any of you fuckers see it? There you go. Come on, Historian. Seriously? Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. Probably have some somewhere. I could just, like, knock it down. Ready for anything. Do I really not have any thieves' tools? Well. Well then. I guess we're knocking it down. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. We'll get there eventually. Or we could just blow it up too. What do we need? It's got bludgeoning vulnerability. I don't think we have any bludgeoning tools though. Fuck off. Alright. We're blowing this baby up. We have those explosives for a reason. Two can play at that game, motherfucker. And let hits metal door with stick. Cloak and dagger. All right. Seriously? Holy shit! That didn't work, huh? This way. Well, guess we're gonna have to take the other way. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Gonna have to go up this way then. Or we could provoke them to fight, and then they'll open the gate. Which is probably our best bet. Let's move. Very well. So we can just take pot shots at them from here. Unless they ran off somewhere. Hmm. Where'd they go? I guess they ran off. <clears throat> yeah, guess they ran off. Well then. You're making a bad mistake, my oh, friend. Oh, there you are. Last chance. Well, where is she? Let's, uh, let's remove some of these, first of all. Softer than a whisper. That way we don't get blown the fuck up. And plus it adds more to our, uh, our camp. <laughs> Anla blows up... <laughs> Door with beer kegs unsuccessfully. True though. Oh my god, that's so true. And like it's yelled at by an Asian. <laughs> Never wanted the easy path. And y'all just have these everywhere. 
Free for the taking. Maybe I need more pockets. Yeah, let's let's talk to this guy real quick. See if we can trade with him before we before he dies. I just want No 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 no, don't pickpocket him. Wait, wait! I'm just a prisoner! Spare me! Oh, thank the for you okay, rescue none other than the artist, Oscar Feverance. Oh, run crying back to my patron, I expect. My I was friend, hoping I could trade I with say. him. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little falling out. Adrian sees Keg magically yeah, fucking disappear and says nothing. <laughs> the patriarch of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. I don't care about your love life, I just want my reward. Ah. Say, you couldn't spare a little coin, could you? Right, until Baldur's Gate. No, but I didn't say you could leave alive. Let's have some fun. Might be able to shoot him through the bars here. He needs to come out a bit more. Is that blood? No, never mind. Lazel could shoot from here. What, Lazel? Which one is this? We need the menacing one. Hell yeah! <sighs> oh, good. He is frightened. Frightened means he can't move, so he should be good. Or okay. And he left. Great. Cool. <laughs> he disappeared. Fantastic. Still breathing, despite everything. That's a friendly looking shadow. Guys, oh, last God. warning. I'm not gonna tell you again. Death proceeds to. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, he's back. Wait, he's back. He came back. Do it again! Do it again! Let's see... I bet he could hit him. Uh, nope. <laughs> he runs off again. Fuck. Waiting with bated breath. Lazelle, hit him again. Eager for battle. Damn it. I'm ready. Just go after him, I guess. Something good here, I hope. Oh wait, I'm too heavy. <clears throat> Moving in. Damn it. <laughs> Look, he's back! <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> what is happening? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, this time you're not getting away. First, Lazel, shoot the guy. There you go. Now, Starry might be able to hit him. God, it's taking me forever just to kill one guy. Can't get over there. All's well that ends. Nah, it should be fine. Not as bad as it could have. And the final hit. There we go. Finally, down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm. 
Not anymore. Anyway, back to what we were doing. We're gonna have so many fucking smoke powder barrels. I swear to God. I'm actually just gonna go, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Boink. <laughs> Don't take another step, I warn you! We'll do that there you go. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. One true way. No time to rest. On my way. Yep, yeah, I know, guys. Thank you. Oops. Oh well, that works out. These boots have seen everything. <clears throat> so where'd these idiots go? <laughs> they were like, I'm warning you, don't come any closer. And we did, and then they didn't want to do anything. Oh, that's right. They have these other traps. Don't well, Astarian's got that covered. There they are. They all just came to hang out over here. <laughs> Emma is informed that something is over there. Oh my fucking god, how? What the hell? <laughs> Fuck! Much longer. Fuck! Hmm. There we go. And these things have stayed interesting. Alright. Let's try this a different way. Good idea, I think. Good enough, I guess. <laughs> They're like, hey, stop that. A subtle approach. Damn it. Okay. Oh, why is the water electrified? What the hell? Hmm. Make it hurt. It was not a good idea to get into this fight without resting first. It's okay, it'll be fine. Maybe. At least you won't live to regret it. I bet I have a scroll or two I could use. Since they're all clumped together like that. We'll see. Ah fuck! Damn. Alright, next turn, I'll have something useful. We've buried tougher than you. Come on. Take two. Thank you, Shadowheart. Although you probably could have healed yourself instead. Ah, shit. Kill the wolves. Okay. Nothing will stand in my way. Let's see, do you have any good scroll? You have burning hands. 
have mage armor, that's not gonna do us any good. Ray of sickness, bestow curse, blindness? It only works for like one person though, doesn't it? Could use the web. Crown of madness? Hmm. Well, we don't really have anything else right now, so... Got a 40% chance, might as well take the risk. Damn it! Leave no trace. Alright, we'll just back off here. Rip. How far back would we have to load? Probably a ways, if I'm being honest. Yeah, we'd have to... We'd have to go a pretty way... A pretty big way back. No, we can do this. Ow! Hmm. Yeah, it only affects one person. Did I say we could do this? Uh, I said that maybe we should, uh, regroup. Come back later. Ah, don't worry, they'll be fine. Very well. <laughs> it is kind of a... It is kind of a karmatic defeat, isn't it? Wait, whose turn is Let's it? Have some carnage. Oh, there we go. Well, see, if I get them up, I can't actually get them to escape from battle. They're kind of on their own right now. <laughs> It's okay, as long as Asterion and I live, it's fine. Bye-bye! <laughs> Enla retreats as she remembers the Vietnam War. I'm sure they'll be fine. Look, they're fine. Looking ahead. Should mind my steps. It's fine, we'll just talk to Withers. Withers will get them back in tip-top shape. Hey, Withers! Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. <laughs> Tell me about it, bro. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a <laughs> Lazel dying in the background. Instead. Yes. Uh yeah. <laughs> uh I need to resurrect then someone. Thou must this is the price of battle. Here's the well counted. By doom and dust. I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Hey, Shadowheart. Everyone's frightened of something. My fear's hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those things. <laughs> okay. My <laughs> wheel. Dost thou require All right, can you resurrect somebody else? Thou must return. This is the price of balance. Emma makes pact with corpse boyfriend. Well, All right. There you go. By and dusk I strike thy name. Hey, Shadowheart. I sub the ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. I'll try to avoid it. Uh, everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. Really? Some might think it makes me a liability. It does, but we can get over Maybe that. That's what I like about you. You're different. 
Lazil! <laughs> How you guys doing? Alright, we'll camp here and then we'll just, uh, you know... We'll deal with them next time. How about that, guys? We get along quite well, I think. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means... Yes, yes, yes. We truly have a secret protector. Lazo. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Lazo. Another dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. No idea what damage it could... Astarian. All right, I might wrap it up soon so I can get to this reaction I want to do. Yes. Okay, we don't have anything. All right, night and night, everybody. Oh wait, hold on. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Ah, we're here already. <laughs> you wake up oh, you Vlad, you're gonna love wrong. this. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you. I, I just needed, well, blood. And only has one viewer. There yeah, I know. Firelight, you see him for what he really is, a vampire. A but I'll just ping people in the gossip chat hunger. and see if they wanna tune in. How long since you've killed someone? Days? Hours? I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half revealed. Enlo refuses to bang? I didn't say I was refusing. Why didn't you tell me? At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can. Oh, I trust you. I do, I believe you. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Fine, but not a drop more than you need. Not a drop really? more. I... Of course. Yes! <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. No, ew! Vlad, ew! Ew! That's disgusting! It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches. Your pulse quickens. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Just couldn't get enough of that ass. Alright, you can stop now. Oh boy. <laughs> We're probably gonna die here. Nope! <laughs> Critical success! Alright. It works for me. Of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. It's I not necrophilia. Strong. Happy. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Oh, hell yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. 
You watch as he stalks off. You better not. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Cool. <laughs> My fucking companions are bugged. I love it. Oh no, we're having this issue again, are we? Okay, good. Phew! I was about to get really worried. Alright, we'll talk to Astarian. See how he's doing this morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Fine. I just feel a little woozy. It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Nah. Like my good self. He just said why. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Is that how you can stand in the sun because you're not a true vampire? Oh no. I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes... Although I think I can become a vampire later if I wanted to. Perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well... <laughs> we can figure those out in time. If I can help, just ask. We're in this together. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're... I was glad to hear that. These uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire among us. Among us? So be it. But should I wake with so much as a drop of blood on my neck, I will end him. I just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. I trust him. He won't hurt us. Uh, quite He's honest. my boyfriend. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. Maybe we could get him to wear a bell, dissuade any nighttime prowling. Lamel. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Now that you know what I am, I should tell you that. Cazador was more than just a slaver. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. I don't want to say a damned thing, but that won't do anyone any good. Baldur's Gate Twilight. Is a vampire <laughs> lord in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, kind of. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. So you were his slave. A vampire's spawn is less than a slave. They're a puppet. We have no choice but to obey our master's commands. They speak. And our bodies react. It's all part of the deal. Sometimes he'd order us to submit to torture. Sometimes he'd have us torture ourselves. Whatever his weather vane mood settled on. That sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. Thank you. But this isn't about sympathy. It's about knowing what we might be up against. The Mind Flayers aren't the only monsters out there. And they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open. And watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. You got it! I'll watch your back, don't worry. What more could I ask? Now is that all? Hmm. So about you biting me. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Hmm. 
Maybe. Maybe later. Maybe. But there were <laughs> And look continues to simp. I can promise you that. I like this D&D &D narrator Vlad. Okay. We'll call it there for now. And uh, we'll switch over to this reaction I've been wanting to do. So just give me a second. I think most of the others are asleep by now. Bad news. But, uh, okay, so what I'm gonna be reacting to is, like, the last hour of the... God, I keep forgetting what her name was. Rosa something. Rosa Ramsey. Ray Rosa Ramsey. Or some shit like that. I forget. It's a stupid name, that's what it is. But, uh, they sent me the full call. I think the full thing is like four hours long, so no way in hell I was gonna sit through that this entire time. But, the interesting thing is that at, like, towards the, maybe the final hour of it, roughly, uh, Ponder jumps in and basically chews them all out for, uh, being a bunch of assholes, basically, and not helping anything. Which is very deserved, and something I wish I knew sooner that happened. But hey, at least I know now. It seems like the more I learn, the more interesting it becomes. But uh, I'm curious <clears throat> to see what Ponder Sprocket has to say about this. Okay. There we are. Sounds interesting. I mean, considering that I've been a fan of Ponder's content for a couple of years now, um, and I've learned a lot from watching her content, uh, I'm curious to see, like, what she actually says. We'll get this going real quick. Thankfully, I took the time to already pull it up ahead of time. The, the quality is kind of shit, though. Fortunately, but that's the nature of screen recordings. Alright, here we go. So I guess all that really matters is, like, the little bit on the side here. Close to break? What do you mean? I, I scrubbed around a little bit. Um, I did hear a couple of other things. Like, I heard a part where... I actually heard a couple of times where, like, somebody would say, like, Can't you just apologize? Like, can't you just say you're sorry? Or, like, what do you have to say about that? And then Rosa will say something like, I'm sorry. Like, all I can say at this point is I'm sorry. And then everybody will be like, no, 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 that's not good enough. My god, so many in the VC. I know, right? That's one of my biggest gripes about this is why do they need to have so many people in these voice calls? It's totally unnecessary, right? But you can see, I know you guys can't read it, but right here, you can see that Ponder Sprocket's here. And I think that's her icon, right? But anyway, uh, Rosa would say something like that, like, all I can do right now is apologize and say I'm sorry. And then somebody would be like, that's not good enough. Or they would just say that the apology doesn't count, or that it's not genuine. Just, like, assume it's not genuine. Um, or they would be like, well, if you're really sorry, you would do this, or you would do that. Like, they would continuously move the goalpost, basically. So I would hear bits and pieces like that. Um, if, if you guys have any other timestamps that would be interesting for me to see during this, I'd be glad to do that too.
But I just wanted to get to the part where I see Ponder Sprocket, uh, where Ponder Sprocket hops into the call. So we're starting off from there, and this is like the last hour of it, so I guess we'll just see what happens. Ah, oh, God. Oh, close to break for your work, I see. Hi, Mitzi. Okay, sorry, Mitzi wants attention. Just for a sec. Senate calls be like, what the hell? It's... I don't get it. I don't get why they need so many people and then they think it's necessary. Like, why? Oh, my fucking VR thing is not doing right. It's not doing so hot right now. Okay, but no, this should be good. Alright, you guys. I'm not ready. I don't like this. Uh, this shit's embarrassing, you know what I mean? I hate listening to this shit. Should we get the bingo card? I kind of want to get the bingo card. <laughs> the, uh, the Leo Convoy bingo card that we've been workshopping for a while. Hang on a sec. It's in our DMs. Hold on. I know, Mitzi. Mitzi is like, You're talking? Oh, that means you must want to pet me always. Pet me, pet me. I know, Mitzi. I know. Alright, let's see. All right, we have um, our prototype of the, lingo, uh, the Leo Bingo card here. So it generates something randomly, obviously. Yapping, obviously free space, because that's just going to happen. Uh, all right. So I'll kind of keep this up and running while we're doing this. Oops. That's not the right one. That's my YouTube channel. Guys, subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> subscribe! Subscribe! God, I don't want to do this, man. This sucks. All right, let's go. Until 2021, to get free art, to get gifts. You can't even see who's talking because there's so many people that you can't fit them all into the, into the screen. It's so weird. To get money. To get all this shit. So I don't know who's talking they right now. They were using me. Star Giant Productions is using you. Necopon is using you. They're not your fucking friends. They're using you as a shield. And the reason I'm telling you about my situation is because I got slapped in the face last year when someone who did fucking groom me. Well, who, did, who did fucking... Well, is Dar using... Well, is Dar the star using me? Yes, Star is using you. That's what I just said. Oh my god. Yeah. Can, you can you imagine falling on the sword for a mush is mouth Star like Star Giant Productions? What? He is, I've noticed he uses that a lot. I actually don't remember all the things that are on this bingo card. Let's actually, let's go through the stuff that's on the card first so that we know. Roast the person over a hobby interest. Why would you do this? You're stupid. I'm old. Person gets interrupted. Do you have friends IRL? She just interjects to make it about herself. You didn't even apologize. North spelt it wrong, but that's just what North does. Brings up the Bible. Person in video is mentally ill. I think, well, we don't know for sure. Actually, no. Um. Yes. I'm gonna say yeah. So dramatic, yeah. Asks a well-thought-out question, wants to get the law involved, blindly taking one side's word. Our features is Persona being big and sweary. Uh, there is none, but Peaches is in the call. She actually is in the call, so that's check. Leo explaining or analogy arguments. Asks personal, personal or irrelevant questions. Did your parents raise you? Declaring victory. Leo puts, pulls unrelated person. Pulls unrelated? Well, I feel like there's so many people in this call already that are irrelevant. This is ridiculous. I collect toys. Incorrectly correcting, and this is the problem with your generation. Freak is not on the card. Uh, we'll, we'll put it on the card, I guess. I don't think it is one of the options. So far, we have a pretty decent spread. All right, well, we'll keep this, uh, we'll keep this in mind. Star <laughs> is using you. If Star is not in this call, Star is fucking using you. I have no idea I what's mean, going on, sorry. I'm in the- wait, I was gonna say this as well. I'm in the server right now as we speak, and guess what? They're making a new video. They're moving on. Fucking Rosa. Fuck Rosa. 
Yeah. It's a good volume, yeah, right? It's clearly not too best loud. Friends. And also Rosa. <laughs> Here's another thing as well, sweetheart. Um, Love it. If you really... Why are you using yeah. cartoon shooting? <laughs> yeah, cartoon you like shooting? it, Akumu? Sorry, sorry for the name, but... Why are you... Like I said, it's just a prototype right now. We're still workshopping. We're still... Bleh. We're still workshopping it. You're using their story to oh, wait, justify to... beating the living shit out of Zed. Yet, when we tell you our situation, you just turn a bl blank eye. And also, see for the situation from now on, don't even have opinions if you're biased. I mean, for fuck's sake, you're literally the biased motherfucker I've ever seen. You're biased. If you are literally the biased motherfucker I've ever seen. <laughs> if I ever see you have an opinion, I swear to God, everyone, everybody in the server is going to fucking smite you. If I see- if I ever see you have an opinion, I swear to God, everyone on the server is going to fucking smite you. What kind of- what- what does that even mean? <laughs> Don't well, you I mean, dare. I I What's the point of this call then if you don't care about her opinion? And again, no, I I'm wouldn't talking go to... around. I wouldn't go mm -hmm. around speaking for everybody in the server, frankly, but more importantly. The... Yeah, that's Leo's job, guys. That's Leo's job. Just a prototype. The truth of the matter is, we know why. We've known why she's like that. Because she wants to get in, she she wants to get in good graces with somebody in the LGBT, and for some reason this we dumb have Leo sap Star Giant Productions. Yes, and I we have do. To say it again. If you have to freaking plagiarize Mr. Enter, like, um, join a convent. You're done. Like, you're never going to accomplish anything of value. You're done. But no, nope, Rose is in here. Oh, I don't want my personal life brought into it. Please don't call my mommy when you use your personal life as an excuse to not. <laughs> He also threatens people like threatening to rip out Keyblade's throat. I have no idea who that is. I I don't think I've ever heard it. Well, I think maybe he has. Like, I've heard him say, like, oh, if you were in Texas, uh, you would not be safe from me or some dumb shit like that. Ban a child predator, which takes all five seconds. Remember, oh, you, you have chores to do. I don't care. What? Well, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and repeat this, because I know you have a... I like how he says something, and then... He says something or makes an assumption, and then the person he's explaining to corrects him, and then he just goes, Oh, I don't care. Like, it's not important, because he's busy explaining right now. A hard time paying attention. God forbid, if it's not Star Wars, you don't pay attention. I work 60 hours a week. I have a family I take care of. I have a secondary job. You don't... You have a wife. You don't have a family, Leo. Um, I run my own YouTube channel. I try to take care of other things that are not related to that, and I have time to do it. Why don't you? I objectively do more than you do, have more responsibilities, spend less time than you probably think online. Bragging. All day online. I don't think that's a Google space, Google but Google bragging. You might run a couple errands with your mommy who does not understand the garbage you do. So tell me what you did that was so important and so time consuming that related to your real life that made it you couldn't click a button and hit ban. Getting groceries, Lyo, don't you remember? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I oh, yeah. I, I doubt he remembers. So, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. They're just doing that typical thing. Like, don't you have anything better to do? Understand. I. I. To clarify, I don't want him to stop or anything. I love. I love it. Hearing an almost forty-year-old man threaten violence over the internet, drama over internet drama is fucking hilarious. Yeah, I fair enough. I, I, um, guys, stop it! Stop! Stop! Sorry. I generally, I generally want I to I know. Could leave. No, I no, I I'm speaking. It's me, you know, the the victim that was. In <laughs> yeah, I'm. Hey, uh, I'm speaking right now. Nor, the you know, one of them. Guys, I have say. the talking stick. It's just the thing is that we gave Star the evidence, and then right away, Nekopon knew about it, and then hurt. So was this? Okay, so I know Nekopon and someone named Star are being mentioned a lot. Again, I don't know a lot about the situation. All I know is Rosa, who's the one being grilled in this call with like 20 plus people. Like just on the screen, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And this is just all that, that can fit on screen right now. There are more people in this call. This is 26 plus people in this call, right? Like, <laughs> God damn it! I was so busy focusing on the number, I forgot what point I was trying to make. Fuck! Us. Oh, right, right. They're grilling this person because 
Rosa was a moderator. No, no, no. I have a talking stick. Um, like, they... Uh, fuck. They're grilling Rosa right now because Rosa was a mod in someone else's server that allowed a predator to be in there. Like, that's it. They were just a moderator in that server. Leo was willing to bitch at Keyblade and Tippy for knowing about... You guys know a ton of shit that I don't. <laughs> Why do you have all of this in memory? I only have a few things dedicated to memory, but you guys seem to have, like, everything. Rowan, I have a talking stick. The talking stick is mine! But I haven't seen a call of Leo bitching at Ponder for protecting Phagos. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> Rules for thee, but not for me. Haha. <laughs> So, the thing is that I'm still processing the fact that you said you couldn't talk to us. Tell me, was I supposed to talk to you guys after you gave Nekopon that we told you about what she did? After she hurt us again? Yeah, he would be a millennial. But this is, is pretty typical millennial them? behavior. <laughs> get out, you're trying to, get out, you're trying to find darkness with a torch. You're not going to get that answer from her. What the fuck? He said, kiddo, you're trying to find darkness with a torch. What is that saying? Like, we need to- I guess that just falls under Leo Splaining, I suppose. We already have that checked off. She's not even smart enough to answer her basic question, but- Oh, we should put, uh, Insults Intelligence on the board. Oh, no. Can you give me a general- If I find it funny, I remember it. Fair enough. Please? Yes. Just, just genuine apology. Because I spent four years of that drama. Really, really trying to work up the waterworks right now. All, all of my childhood was robbed away from me because of it. All of your childhood was robbed away from you because of it, even though it was only four years? That was, was four years your entire childhood, honey? All I can I wanted... do is just give you an apology. All I can oh. just say is that I'm sorry. There it is, there it is. You just heard Rosa say, all I can do is give you an apology. All I can say is that I'm sorry. And that's what the victim asked for. That's what she asked for. She said, can you just apologize? All I want is an apology. And now you hear that she was given that apology. So let's find out their reaction to her making that apology. Oh, then give it. She just did. And then if you're sorry, you can also give us your DMs. I mean, all you need to do is give me a Discord ID number and there you go. I can do it. I can literally do that. Myself, no problem. I've got a Discord. The thing uh, is, hmm? the thing is, she's not going to be able to apologize for what she did because she doesn't actually think she did anything wrong. That's why every single time the you guys have gotten her, every you time you guys have gotten her, and I'm not done. I am not done. And oh yeah, uh, we need to add Leo getting mad that other people interrupt him <laughs> or talking over him. I did not pass the talking stick. Yep. If that is Mushmouth over there speaking over me again, I might genuinely lose my temper. And nobody in this call yet has actually heard me lose my temper. I <laughs> oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, we need to write down more shit. We need to write down more shit for this bingo card. This is going to be a big bingo card, dude. But we need to write down, like, I may just lose my temper, or I'm not e I might get mad, or something. Or, like, you won't like me when I'm angry sort of shit. The Scottish person sounds really familiar, and I don't know why. Well, all Scottish people sound the same. But yeah, we have, you know, gets mad that he's being interrupted. Why is he getting upset that he's being interrupted in a call with 26 plus people? Get real, Leo. Kick some of these fuckers out if you don't want to get interrupted all the time. I promise. There's, there's, okay, Coyote has heard me lose my temper. So is Zaid. You don't want that. I promise you, if you think- Yep, that's- you won't like me when I'm angry. Saeed, just being a little mean about Star Wars makes you have nightmares that he's a literal monster stealing your tongue. <laughs> I will steal your essence. Don't the play with me. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard. I can pinpoint the exact moment that you see somebody's soul die. What <laughs> the fuck? And people take this seriously. Oh my god. Fuck you. No, the point <laughs> is- the point is, you're not going to get an actual answer from this idiot, because she refuses to acknowledge what she's actually done. Instead, she'll say, I don't know, I just don't know, more anime pro tag nonsense. It's just that they're telling us we, that she doesn't watch this anime, but that's not really the point. The truth of the matter is, there's no Leo's explaining. Here, she doesn't want 
her mommy, who is her caretaker, who should be watching what she does. Her mommy, who is her caretaker, isn't Rosa, like, 30? Isn't Rosa, like, an adult? I might lose my temper. Nobody here has heard me lose my temper as if he doesn't yell or- I think he did that in this call earlier, he was yelling. I'm pretty sure. Mushmouth. Not that I'm above it, but saying that is ableist, you know, the thing he says is wrong. Well, yeah. Apparently he called the person retarded in this same call. ...on the internet, because this person's in their 30s and incapable of taking care of themselves. No, that- Oh, see, there you go. He says himself, this person's in their 30s and is incapable of taking care of themselves, and yet decides to put all the responsibility of someone else on this singular person onto this person that he just said is not capable of taking care of herself, so how is she also simultaneously completely responsible for all of her actions in this, like, social situation? That's not the focus. The focus is we gotta make sure that dumb broad doesn't have any accountability when children- I will steal your essence, and I'm the LARPer. Not for bad. Which video is this? I can send it to you. Um... Uh, shit. It's in the- it's linked in the Discord. Larper, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't- okay, so when- do you guys remember when this call happened? That's the only thing I don't have is, like, the time frame of when this call happened. Do you guys remember, like, roughly? Keep in mind, Akuma, this entire thing is four hours long. We're only doing the, uh, the last hour of it. Hang on a second. I can't, I can't spell. Okay, but it's in the Discord. Uh, you don't want to join the Discord. It's just us gossiping about useless shit. I'll go back up and find it. Hold on. Oh, right! I found it in Neora's Google Drive. Or in Neora's, uh, Google Doc. Right, that's how I found it. So if you have- if you have Neora's recent Google Doc, where, uh, goddamn, I'm never gonna fucking find this. Here we go. So it leads you to a Twitter post, which leads you to a Google Doc, which leads you to a link, and that's where you'll find it. There you go. <laughs> oh, so many rabbit holes. That's fine. Neither did I. The only one who really doesn't- the only two people who ever really talk about her is, is Villanilla and, uh, North. Or no, yeah, North. Alright, I'll DM it to you, Akumu. There you go. This is the first time I've ever heard of this call, and frankly, even if it was sent to me, I likely couldn't watch it after seeing so many people in it. You're braver than I am. Well, you heard it here first. I am braver than Vled. Alright, let's continue. God forbid the dumb broad have to be accountable with the literal victim in this call actually crying at this point because they can't get any closure because of people like you, Rose. So yeah, go ahead. Tell me your crocodile here. Tell me about how you had to do some doodles that day or how you had to do other things. Can, can I kind what of is happening right now? I'm sorry, give me a second. Hey, that's... I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! That's... I refuses to mute microphone, though. No, that's crying, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for getting the name itself. They've gone by a few. Honey, you can... Yeah, yeah, no problem. If you need anything, I'm right here. Can I say something? Um, I think my pause button works, right? Yes. Rosa? My name is Cassie. Yeah. I and don't care. This is coming from somebody who has been through something similar. I've been groomed, I've been manipulated. So if this is someone who is not involved in this drama whatsoever, who is not involved in this situation, who's just like, well, I've been groomed before, so I think I have an authority on this situation. When I was 14 years old, not from Necropump, but from another person, from Kick. I've been manipulated, I've been hurt, I've been treated like shit. And the fact that you didn't do 
dick to these children on the server. I don't know what you were doing. Okay. I'm sorry? She said, and the fact that you didn't do dick to these children on this server, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, your personal life, but what Lyle said there, he even all the, even all the things he had to do in his everyday life, he still had time to care for them, unlike you. Oh my god. <laughs> Sucking Lyle's dick. <laughs> this is all Leo does. He just says that he's busy in real life. But how do we know that's the truth? So, what, what, so what's, what's, I don't understand this. In this case, yeah, clearly. you're basically enabling, enabling Nekopon to keep doing the same shit. Const okay, so I assume that this was Nekopon's server that, you know, Rosa, the person being grilled, was a moderator in, and they pretty much didn't really do any, like, their, their biggest, and I think only crime right now is, and, which has garnered all of this, the, this 26 plus people that are in this server, is because they were a moderator, Nekopon apparently didn't kick out a predator in the Discord, and they, and Rosa moderated in that server. That's it. That's... Unless Nekopon was the groomer, and it was a different person's server, I have no idea. Mostly grooming children. In that case, that could- then that is a freaking crime. You could be freaking charged for child endangerment. I, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't- Unfortunately, I don't, I don't think that's her. true. That's actually the biggest issue I, I have here in terms of irritation, other than the fact that um, Rose is a dumb dumpster her. slut. I Yo, say what? Dumpster slut? I'm sorry? Calling Rosa a dumpster slut, if huh? If you knew somebody or not, look, do you just drown out everybody mentally the minute you're having a meltdown about whether or not you get to say something? Sit down and keep your cock holster shut until you are spoken to. Keep your cock holster shut? <laughs> He's just saying keep your vagina closed? The but, point is, I don't even know. I know I you would, Vlad. I did not stutter. I did not stutter. I said you will be dismissed when I dismiss you. The bell does not dismiss you, child. I do. <sighs> oh, my God. My God. No smart person would even agree to a call like this. And that, that much is clear. You will leave when I tell you you can leave. <laughs> what? <laughs> now they're basically just... Yeah, they're they're... Like, mentally and emotionally just holding her hostage. Like, she's not even allowed, oh, by their standards, allowed to leave at this point. Like, I know he doesn't actually, like, he's not actually holding her hostage, but, like, they're making it out like she has no free will in this situation. And this is just pure <laughs> slut-shaming and ableism. Yeah, basically, yeah. When other people have had their fill tearing into you for your immoral actions, when the victim here decides it's time for you to leave, then you will leave. I know you have some crayon drawing to do. They will wait. Just like you Oh waited. my god. The sad thing is that we can't even push anything on this person. I doubt anything will be prosecutable at this point. We have a hard enough time getting cops to even care about the predators. Dude, on the yo, you're right, Vlad. Imagine calling someone both a cum slut. Was it a cum dumpster? Yeah. Child endangerment. Okay, so let's let's break this down real quick. That's a good point. So he's calling this person a child, but then also calling them a cum dumpster slut and a cock holster. Sorry, Leo. They're not going to care about this mush mouth empty skull moron. So all we can do right now is just let people know, hey, this is the type of person that prioritizes. Actually, we do have your stupid. Mad so. about Star Wars than they do the fact that they had a child put in their server. Well, the worst and best we can do, unfortunately, is just point out this is somebody you don't want in your circles. Wants they to get the law involved. Yeah. Sit there and they excuse a child predator because boo hoo. Um. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, does that count? He says in there, like, uh, there's nothing the law could do, but he does want to get the law involved. Nah, that doesn't count. It's only, it only counts, in my opinion, if he's threatening to get the law involved or saying we're going to get the law involved. That's when it counts. Star Wars. So maybe we should uh, rephrase that. Star Wars is more important, but they're also fetishizing LGBT. Why does he keep bringing up Star Wars? Do we need to, like, like, <laughs> we need to put, like, 
mentions 80s media or some dumb shit like that. Which is just absolutely fascinating. I'm sure everybody who's part of that really just feels absolutely loved and cared for by that. So good job there. Really what? smart move. But that's all we can really do. The social accountability is all we really have left at this point. We don't have anything legally we can do. And the only thing I can do is try to find this person's parents and tell them to yank this moron off the internet. Because we do need, need that. Threaten to contact parents. Get in an abusive manner and put kids in danger because God forbid you not be uncomfortable for five seconds. Oh my God, this because is embarrassing. This dumb cunt is actually so fucking annoying. Oh, there's Peaches. I was wondering when she would pop up. So, little dumb cunt over there. You did, you did hear Endo crying before, right? <sighs> you are the dumb cunt. You can respond. Is she drunk right now? She sounds drunk. Just can't help but feel. What? I just oh, can't you feel oh, myself. Shit. Uh, la, 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 la. I don't. I don't care. I didn't ask how you. I don't care. I didn't ask how you feel because. Uh, <laughs> ask the person to respond and then talks over them responding. I don't really care. What person I gets interrupted. Was that, that was actual real tears. You know the little bitch you don't boy know tears that. that you gave before when Lyo said he'd call your mommy and you started crying and begging. And then the moment Zaid started talking to you, you snapped right out of it. Because the thing is, is that you are absolute trash. You sit here talking about Zaid all the time. You're always like, oh my god, he's absolutely horrible. And the whole time, you've pretended to have trauma. You don't. You pretend How do you know that? How do you know she doesn't have trauma? Now she's just assuming that somebody- She's just basically denying another person's trauma or another person's experience. Sorry? God, the more I listen to her talk, the less and less I feel- like, the less sympathy I feel for her every single time she opens her mouth. I hear slurring. I do, too. That's why I'm thinking that she sounds drunk. I it wouldn't- I wouldn't put it past her. But I don't think she has the right to get upset when other people are questioning her trauma. Whoa, so she does what I do, based. <laughs> I don't think she has the right to be upset when people question her trauma. What call is this? The Ray Rosa Ramsey call, I believe. Uh, whatever her fucking name was. Uh, we're looking at the last hour of it because um, this is when Ponder Sprocket, or at least around the time that Ponder Sprocket jumps in to interject and tell people off for being fucking complete asshats. PTSD, you do not. And How do you know that? Are you her doctor? Are you her therapist? Are you her psychologist? You don't know that, Peaches. How can you sit here and speculate on other people's mental health and trauma and then get mad when others do that same thing to you? That makes no sense. You pretend that you care about the LGBT, which you do not. As someone with panic attacks and PTSD and trauma, I can tell because yep. you just sat there like Peaches uh, pretending no. to hyperventilate. That's a part on the bingo sheet. Peaches interjects to make it about herself. So, we're filling up this board pretty quickly. It's late, which immediately snaps mm. away the moment that uh, the questions go away from you. You pretend that you have nightmares because Zaid said mean things on the internet about fucking stuff. Let me, let me clarify real quick. I don't know what Rosa has done or has been proven to do. If, she, if it did turn out that she was a pedo, I don't think it really matters here. What I'm scrutinizing here, specifically, is these people's con uh, conduct. Oh god, my identity politics. I'm scrutinizing their conduct. And I hate this fucking argument of like, why do you want us to be nice to predators? It's not about that. Because it's not about being nice to predators. It's about getting results. It's about getting admissible results, or a confession, or an explanation. If you're asking them for their opinion, and then you just talk over them to give them what for because you want to feel tough. Like... I'm sorry, but... <laughs> that's sad and pathetic, and it's- and it- it doesn't help. <laughs> it doesn't help at all. It doesn't get you the results that you claim you want to get. And that's what Leo says. That, that's, that's what Leo says. He says one of the purposes of the Senate 
is to gather evidence and information that the law could possibly use in the future, but none of this would be admissible in any court. I'm sorry. It's important to note that Zaid was recently shown to be everything Rosa said. Leo and Peaches did videos on him. Really? Oh my god. All it, you know what? I, I, all I have to say about that is, another one bites the dust. I think Rosa was an enabler, which at this point is a buzzword in the Senate. I mean, yeah, I mean, their definition of what a predator, enabler, or apologist is is so broad at this point that it has no meaning anymore. Star Wars, and then you sit there at the same time and say that trauma from being groomed should go away in a matter of days because, oh, you know, it's yesterday's news, famalam. And then on top of that, for some reason, you just want to wank off to fucking LGBT people by saying, oh, well, they're my friends now and I really want a bestie from the LGBT. What? That's that's Where did jerking off come into play here? What? It's really funny to me. But, um... I just really want to highlight the fact that you've been sat here- But Peaches, this is no laughing matter. This is serious. Completely unfazed about the fact that people who actually been affected by your actions are actually in distress. Like, they're saying that people have been affected by her actions, but I haven't actually heard that Rosa did anything. It's just from a lack of doing anything. I feel like these are things that other people did, but they're pouring it all onto her because she's the biggest target, or she's the easiest target right now. I feel like everybody else involved in this situation was smart enough to not get into this call and not argue with these people. And Rosa was the only one either dumb enough or mentally Ill, Ill enough to hop into the Senate call for whatever fucking dumb reason and get dogpiled on them. That's why they're targeting her and dumping all of this responsibility on her, because they have nobody else to target. She just became the easiest target. Dress and you do not give a shit, and yet you've been sat here the whole time messaging Blue, crying because you're in call and no one's helping you through it. But if you really wanted someone to help you through this call, like you've been begging from Blue... Begging! I, I one thought more time. Did I finish talking, or did my mic just cut out? I'm sorry. Oh no, god forbid anyone interrupts Leo or Peaches, but everybody else is allowed to be interrupted, but not them. Is my mic working? <laughs> sorry, Leo, is my mic working? Yeah, we get it. it is, Continue. Oh wow, I'm so I'm I'm so amazed. That's that's so funny. Maybe you want to clean your ears out, little slut hole, because I didn't finish. What the fuck? What the fuck? Maybe you want to clean your ears out a little slut hole? What the fuck? This is coming from Peaches. What? What? So I was gonna say if you actually wanted some help instead of- I'm pretty sure she's drunk right now. There's no way she's not drunk. I mean, it's possible. Crying to Blue who does not give a shit about how you feel. One last time, I can say you can always drag your mummy in You just here. said, yes, Maybe it is, kid. Help. Yes, yes, it is, kid. Uh, let me just add this, too. Uh, I stopped caring as soon as you tried to say that there was some sort of time limit on trauma. Because, yeah, um, that groomed... Yeah, I don't have the context of, like, the first three hours of this. 11 years ago, still remember that shit. Remember that whole conversation from earlier? Yeah, still kind of pissed. The fact I used to like Peaches and Leo gross is in Leo gross honestly now that I know this bullshit. That is actually gross. I, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I don't know exactly everything that Rosa did. All I know is that, again, she was a moderator in a server where, where the owner of the server allowed a predator to be in there knowingly, I think. And then Rosa didn't kick them? That's the extent of what's happening here. And that justifies all of this? I don't think so. There's a reason... Let me explain something. There's a reason why in police interrogations or interviews, they treat the suspect with respect, or at least some kind of level of... Uh, or they build some level of rapport, like getting them water, or asking them, you know... Not so tough questions at first, getting to know them, or even sometimes nodding along with whatever they're saying, uh, because they want the person to incriminate themselves as much as humanly possible. 
that's how you get information out of people. It's manipulative, but when police use it, it's usually to to solve crimes and get and get uh convictions made. This is not that. This is not that. So if they want to say, like, all they want to do is just have a badgering session and be mean to somebody that they think is an asshole, fair enough. But there's no way in hell that Leo can make the excuse that, like, oh, Senate serves a higher function than just being a shit-talking server. That's it. That's all it is. I find it really insulting that they think it's anything more than that. And that's, that's what I'm scrutinizing here. That's what I'm having an issue with. And the fact that they can, they feel that they can say whatever the hell they want because they think it's morally justified in their own minds. Yeah, you you came in here and you pissed off everyone. Blue is being really kind to- Oh shit, you see that they scrolled up and then they scrolled back down? Hold on. You. Yeah, you- Conversation. Um, hang on. You pissed off everyone. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You're really kind to you. Hang yeah, on, hang on. You, you came in here and you pissed off everyone. You came in here and you pissed off everyone? Shut up. All right, so we have Coyote Lovely. Wow, Coyote Lovely's in here. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Well, blue is be real. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Really kind to you. We have thirty-six I people in this call, as far as I can see. All right, that's fine, North. I never liked Leo. He he only popped off because of the name is Junkie. Yeah, probably. As an LGBT as an LGBTQ plus, as a biromantic non-binary. <laughs> Sorry, Asher. <laughs> what Peach is saying is kind of making me uncomfortable. Kinda. It's entirely out of line. I think he can sit there, like, DMing them for, like, the past, like, couple hours now, going, Oh, please, I am really upset, can someone please help me through this? As, like, literally Endo's in here crying, and you do not give a shit. And even when you are asked... There's a saying that applies to this call. Don't attribute to Malice what's best explained by stupidity. I don't think Rosa is smart enough to be the malicious actor they make her out to be. Well, that's the thing. Again, they, they constantly contradict themselves. They wanna... They wanna... Uh, insult Rosa's intelligence or mental stability or home life or mental health while also planting or also trying to make it out to be like um, she's also this manipulative conniving mastermind that just wants to do everything in her power to hurt as many kids as possible like which is it guys it's one or the other it's not both like, why attribute malice to something that can be uh, easily explained by stupidity or incompetence? Or ignorance. True. Like... Could I have an apology? You just went, yeah, and then no. No, she didn't! That's a lie! Hold on, sorry, what is Peach just saying When here? you asked, could I have an apology? You just went, yeah... And then nothing. No, that is not true, that is a lie. I think you fell asleep during that part, Peaches. But when the victim, or when one of the victims asks, all I want is an apology, Rosa gave them an apology. She said, all I can say at this point is I'm sorry. All I can do is give you an apology. And then everybody jumped onto that to dismiss it, to invalidate it, and to say it doesn't count because of whatever reason they did to move the goalpost. So, and then later they say they didn't apologize. I know that's another one on here, where it was like, um... Uh, where it was, uh, oh, I think they- I think Leo did roast their hobby or interest, but I wasn't paying attention. But, uh... Yeah, they- they constantly flip-flop on their own standards in order to insult them on something, or to get a good zinger in. But none of it is consistent with each other. Complete silence. <laughs> I just wish- well, I'm wish. just trying to do is collect my thoughts. You don't have you any thoughts to collect. <laughs> You've been collecting your thoughts for four hours, you little dumb sluts. Oh my oh god. god. Hey, hey Slowbrain, you don't need to collect your thoughts to say sorry. To just say well, that, it, because that's... That you collecting the only thoughts thing is I like can do is I'm say sorry. 
You collecting your No stuff? way, there's more people? No way, there's not more people, is there? It's like me taking on and collecting it. Pokemon cards, because I don't. What? <laughs> what? Now he's talking about Pokemon cards? If we had Leo explaining five more times on the board, it'd be on there. Hang on, sorry, they scrolled because again. That you collecting the only thing thing I I do. Oh my god, there's more! There's more! I thought this was the end here. Okay, okay. So we're continuing on. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Sorry. You collecting your thoughts is like me taking on your collecting Pokemon cards because I don't. You don't have any thoughts. And you think you don't even know what you're apologizing for because when Endo says, what are you apologizing and for? And there's more, Ooh. probably. I'm pretty sure there's more. Oh, Why, God. Really quick, you go immediate hush mode. Thing is, you don't know. You just think that apologizing. What are we on, 52 or something like that? You get people off your back, you coward. See, there. she just said again that she's sorry, and they just say, no, 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 that doesn't count because I don't think that you're sorry. Okay, prove it, motherfucker. <laughs> so I, I have a question for Blue. Hey, Blue. Um, earlier? What's up? Earlier, when you were talking to Rosa, can Rosa explain to Blue and I why Rosa said, and I was driving home in the car when you said this, Rosa, what Neko Pond- Why does that matter? Why does it matter that you were driving home while you heard this? I did was not that bad. Uh, oh, 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 God, no. <laughs> no. Excuse me? I almost wrecked my car. I almost wrecked my car because you said something bad. Really? Really? We're pulling that card now? Really? Oh, the I jungle, knew. the mighty jungle, Rosa's fucked tonight. If, if I may. Oh my god. Go ahead, let whoever just said if I may. May I speak? Uh, yes. Can I please go now? No. I told you you're done. By the way, they changed Rosa's name to Slut Hole Nightmares, I believe. Also, Rosa, you can go whenever you fucking want to. Again, they're holding her hostage when she's clearly uncomfortable. And I guess that's the the point. Still, you're still holding somebody mentally and emotionally hostage, and that is abusive. I don't care who it is. You know, bad people can also be abused. That was Coyote trying to sing? Ew. Done when I say you're done, and you're gonna abide by that, because God knows your parents failed to raise you with any common sense. Oh, there we go. Uh, did your parents raise you? We got that. We're, we're close to a bingo, guys. We either need Bible Man, Rosa Person, over an interest or hobby. Oh no, we, we don't need that, but we need, like, one of- we need some of these. We need Bible Man, uh, to come in and give us a fucking bingo. Senate, very woke, very brave. I agree. They they really understand mental health, guys. If I had a child that did the stunt you did, oh, oh buddy, God. they would find them. They would not find them. That's one thing I've absolutely picked up from my old man. Sorry? If you pull... Sorry, what did he say? Can you repeat that? crap like that. Can you, can you repeat yourself, Leo? They would not find them. That's one thing I've absolutely picked up from my God old man. God damn it, I hate Google Drive, man failed to raise you with any common sense. If I had a child that did the stunt you did, oh, buddy, they wouldn't find them. They would not find them. That's one thing I... What? If I had a child that pulled the stunt that you did, I would murder them and hide the body? Is that what he's saying right now? <laughs> I would murder my own child? Yeah, that's what he's saying. He would kill his own child. Well, now we see why he's not a dad, in fact. That's- what the fuck? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Mark it down, it's at 3 hours and 20 minutes, by the way. If you wanna save that bit. And by the way, all- just a reminder, all that Rosa did up to this point is basically be a moderator in a server where a predator was and didn't do anything, and then also maybe said that it wasn't a big deal. That's it. That's it. I think we know now why Leo isn't a father. Like, a real father. Yeah, you're clipping that for later, I can imagine. Get that from my old man. If you pull some stupid crap like that, 
they might find your body in a marsh about a hundred years from now. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's literally saying he would murder his own child and then hide the body if they made a mistake like that. <laughs> I have, I have nothing to say to that. I have nothing to say to that. That is insane. That is absolutely in- that is insane. Um, but go ahead and tell everybody- <laughs> Someone was like, um... <laughs> Holy, what the fuck? Yeah, what the hell, dude? I just threatened you with that, because I know you're too stupid to do that. You literally- Wait, huh? Some stupid crap like that? They might find your body in a marsh about a hundred years from now. Um, but go ahead and tell everybody I just threatened you with that, because I know you're too stupid to do that. You literally said- It wasn't a threat, it was just- It was just a reason why you shouldn't be a father, Leo. Well, me not caring if you got eaten by wolves? That that was a threat. So go ahead, yeah. tell everybody that's a threat, that'll be funny. The mass projection right now, and then complains. And let, let us- let me remind you guys, this is the same person that said that Zay calling him Peach's daddy was sexual harassment. This is the same person that said that. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, again, for the new people who have just joined uh, yesterday's news today, this little dumb little cunt thought that saying hi- She has like only two, like, I think she is drunk because she only has like two things that she can say. She can say dumb cunt or a slut or a whore <laughs> or a cum slut. What is that one movie where the guy forgets he murdered his own kids and replays events in his mind? That comment reminded me of that. I don't know how Ponder could hear any of this and be like, yeah, this is the kind of person I want to get into a VC with. Huh? Well, I really want a VC with Leo right now. We all do. We all do, but he never will. Pathetically, he wouldn't care if wolves tore her apart. That was a threat. Oh my god, Lyo Convoy, controller of wolves. Projection right now. Oops. I'm the Wolf Lord. Oh my god. What are they talking <laughs> about? So, dances with convoys. Shut up, Coyote. <laughs> so, okay, this must be before the Coyote Lovely drama happened. So, again, does anybody here have a time frame of when exactly this happened? Because I don't remember. Was it like, what, 2022 or something like that? I don't know the time, the time frame. You got the drama, like, the drama community... They move so fast. One day everyone's friends, and the next they're enemies. So, can I make you a Minecraft skin now, so you can like make a wolf army? I, I well, just. I mean, I don't play oh my god, this I is painful. I just to point out something, um, dumb, dumb cunt. That's <sighs> she has. She's really trying right now. Dumb, uh, d dumb, uh, slut, cum, uh, dumb cunt, slub, slub. Uh, that's your new name now. Uh yeah, that's your new name now. Yeah, and again, they renamed her forcefully to Slut Hole something. I can't read it. Um, how? Late 2022, so this wasn't even that long ago. This wasn't even that long ago. How come it's. How come you're allowed to be able to sit here in a, a situation that you're not even comfortable with for four hours, yet you couldn't. How come you're allowed to sit in, a com in an uncomfortable position? No, I don't think she needs to be allowed, <laughs> Peaches. What are you talking about? You're drunk. Go home. Go drink some water. Send a message that would take less than a minute. What are you talking about? <sighs> it is far easier for people, especially people who have mental disabilities, to type than it is to talk in voice. Just from 100% from experience. I can have a, uh, like a, an argument with someone in text a lot easier than I can have an ar argument with... I mean, with one person in VC, let alone 50 plus people, like, who all fucking hate you and call you a cunt and a whore and a dumb slut and a, a cockhole, a cockholster. I honestly don't know why she's still is here. It? Is that it? <laughs> because you can't even say, uh, you can't even say, oh my god, my, my personal life got in the way. Oh my god, I've got so many friends and so many things I to do. Don't <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm gonna I put that on a t-shirt. I'm gonna put what? that on a t-shirt with your face on it and just say, I just don't know. Because that's your freaking slogan, you pathetic piece of shit. I'm gonna, uh, different. I'm gonna put her face... 
here's the here's the thing, right? When you ask somebody a question and then you don't give them the chance to answer the question, you didn't ask the question. <laughs> they always ask her to respond, and then when she starts to respond, they completely cut her off and just keep roasting her. There's no point to this. There is no point to this. And then later they're like, yeah, she didn't even apologize. The same thing they did with Cosmic. But Cosmic, I think Cosmic did the, ray, the gray rock strategy to make herself less of a target. And in some ways it kind of worked. It works better than this. But, but, I mean, clearly, like, Rosa isn't... She isn't, like, like, emotionally or mentally fit for this type of thing. So I don't know why she even wanted to subject herself to it. It's on a t-shirt next to a coat hanger, and in red text, it's going to say, I'm a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> well, as, as a person... They don't know her history. They don't know her background. And now they're just mocking her for potentially having traumatic, like, trauma from potential abuse. Again, just mocking somebody else's trauma and abuse, potential abuse person who's seen her face, you may not want to put that on any t-shirt unless you're trying to scare something away. I, mean, I, will personally, I will personally help fund that for you. I will personally help fund that for you. Shut up. Oh, that's beautiful, but come on, dumb cunt. Yeah, that's beautiful, but come on, dumb cunt. Say something just for me to interrupt you again. Where's my beer? Fun. Answer my question. Ah! Your personal oh, life isn't getting- you just avoid you as much? Oh shit, hold on. Sorry, hold on. Much as she can. Okay, hold on, sorry. 100k subs, only to use it for 5-hour insult sessions. I wouldn't care if this was a 5k channel, but this is dumb. I downloaded the video and looked at the media creation date. This recording was made in February of 2023! During Coyote- So this wasn't even a year ago! So... It's very hard to argue that, oh, they don't act like this anymore. It's very hard to make that argument. Very, very hard. Your personal life isn't getting in the way of this conversation. Actually, I haven't even heard your mom for the past four hours. Does she just avoid you as much as she can? The fuck? I haven't heard your mother on your microphone. That must mean that your mom hates you. Your mom hates you. Haha. -ha. What the fuck are these insults, Peaches? If anybody, like, anybody criticizes her lightly and she calls that abuse. The only reason that she can sit here and spew this shit here is because she has 50 plus people to, like, to back her up and suck her off. She would not have the guts to do this if this were the other way around. Yeah, I personally don't blame her, I would. I mean, I just, well, yeah, but apparently her mom got in the way because her mom is the only person who bothers speaking to her. She's got the face only a mother could love, so. Oh, that's rich. Peach is mocking somebody else's appearance. But then she gets upset when people mock her appearance. Make it make sense. Yeah, yeah, not not even that. Not clearly not even that. <laughs> I, I just want to okay, jump no, in no, with no, one. No, I need, oh, well, I need oh, shit. Ponder's speaking up. Oh, wait. Shit. Hold on. God damn it. I can't do anything. I can't do anything! Alright, but I hear Ponder speaking up, so let's hear what she has to say. To jump in Sorry, go ahead. Something. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 admittedly, I haven't been here for very long, so I didn't hear the start of the conversation, but I do need to ask. Do you guys actually think that the throwing of insults and blatant, like, I, I'm not even going to get, like, sugarcoated, this is bullying. Do you really think that this is helping? Or do you think that this is just going to make Rose feel like she's the victim in this situation? Not the argument I would use, but yeah, still true. Like, how is this helping anything? Do you I don't know, I think it's funny. Do you to maybe victimize herself because you are actively bullying her and apparently have been doing it for four hours? Well, we haven't been doing it for four hours. Blue actually had Apparently the call for the about two been hours. Apparently the going on for four hours. The call has, yes. And but at has this point... This shit, this shit been going on throughout the whole fucking call? I can imagine so, no. yes. Because, like, I haven't been listening very long, and I'm really, really disappointed with what I've been hearing. Amen, Peaches. Like, I'm not, I'm not defending Rosa at all. I don't really know much about what she's done, aside from, like, she was dismissing... Yeah, and you don't have to. That's the point. You don't have to know what she's done. ...someone being a predator. But, like, what, what the fuck prompted all this bullshit? 
Do you want an answer to that? Yeah, I want an answer to that. Okay. What, aunt, what prompted this is Rosa not taking it seriously when we have one of the victims of this predator in here telling them exactly what Oh no, she didn't take something seriously? Well, gotta murder her then. What they did, constantly making excuses for why what they did was fine, essentially, telling us that um, having a couple mean tweets thrown your way is equal- Did I say amen, Peaches? I meant ponder. Sorry, they both start with P. Yes, I meant amen, ponder. <laughs> Do that of being preyed on as a child by a predator because they're equally bad. Going on tangents like that, never. Hang on, sorry, huh? Sorry, what do you say? Have one of the victims of this predator in. Do you want an answer to that? Oh, sorry, that was too when far back. We have one of the victims of this predator in here telling them exactly what they did, constantly making excuses for why what they did was fine, essentially telling us that. Um, having a couple mean tweets thrown your way is equal to that of being preyed on as a child by a predator because they're equally bad. Going on tangents like that, never taking any accountability for what- Ponder would be insta-banned if she didn't have any clout. Yeah, if this was somebody who had- And I'm pretty sure Ponder had a bigger subscriber base than them at this point. Like, how- how big is Ponder right now? Pretty sure it's more than Peaches. I see Akumu has something up. Do you want me to react to this, Akumu? If he's still here? Under Sprocket. Okay, hold on. Actually, Hopeless Peaches is has uh, surpassed her at this point. I think. She has 106k. And then Hopeless Peaches has 115k. So, I don't know... I mean, I, so they were at basically an equal footing about about this time, right? Ponder's also dumb for separate reasons, but she's right in this instance. Yes, yeah, so far. She's more respected in their community. Yeah, but... Yeah, if this was, like, just some other random person that said this in the call... They would be immediately lambasted as like a predator defender and would be insulted and threatened and yelled at and then kicked from the server and then shamed like that's what would have happened but because it's ponder sprocket our lord and savior she gets the talking stick she gets special treatment so everybody shut the fuck up lyle doesn't even have 20k yeah what they're doing or what they are saying. But yeah, you are right that Ponder is more respected in the community despite not having as many subs. Um, because she's consistently had good takes on shit. Not always, as we've seen from Akuma's video, but... Um, especially recently, she's put out a couple of good ones. And never being able to answer directly any questions they are being asked. So, accountability for having bad opinions that you disagree with. Ooh, opinions, yeah! Agree with more the fact that they let a child predator run loose in their server for eight months. It wasn't their it's server. Not my server. It's Rebecca's. It's a server that you had the ability to ban them in that you've told us about. Actually, it's not. It's not how I run it. It's how Rebecca runs it. She's in charge of the server. Um, I actually. You literally. I want to ask Rosa a question and. I'm sorry if this sounds um, mean or 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 like if this is offensive. Hey, being respectful. Who knew? Who knew that was a possibility? But I do want to ask Rosa. Do you have like a learning disability? I don't know much about. I think that answered that. I just often keep things to myself as a secret. I don't see how that answers my question, but all right. I think it, it I mean, it kind of does, though. But also, it has been four hours of useless badgering, so... Who's to say at this point? I mean, she sounds like she's completely fried at this point. Ponder's more reasonable than these savages, yeah. All, all these people are just useless. I just don't really understand how the constant bullying... I don't so, know like, much. Blatant. Insult. I mean, that kind of just answers the question. It doesn't sound like 
one, it doesn't sound like she does have the mental wherewithal for this sort of interaction, and two, it doesn't even sound like she's able to advocate for herself. I mean, that much is pretty obvious. Just from that alone. Like, ad hominem, ad hominem insulting is productive in any fucking fashion. Yeah, agreed. How is, how is that helping? It literally just sounds like a bunch of you are victims and you are venting your frustration at someone who is completely unrelated to how you were victimized. Yes, I understand the one kid does have a reason to be uh, upset with Rose if Rose had the ability. Yeah, but why do the rest of them have suddenly have the right to be this, like, violently upset with a singular person? ...to remove the person, but so far I haven't, like... It hasn't really been expressed that she actively had the ability, and it's just like, she was a moderator in a Discord server? Like, did she have permission to remove people from groups? Ah, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, because even if you bring up an issue like this, even if she had the gumption to bring up this as an issue, which I don't think she did, it sounds like Rosa has, like, no spine whatsoever. But even if a moderator in her position did bring this up as an issue, like... <laughs> Again, the owner would just be like, uh, I don't know, fuck off. It's my server, I, I make the rules. People are messaging me on Discord! 310 to 311, this is gonna be great. Do you want- uh, that's a- oh, okay, I, that's something I've reacted to already. Oh, Zaid is misanthrop- misanthropony. Oh, I gotcha. Well, yeah, that's ironic then. But still, abusive people can still be abused. Yeah, she, she did. Was also in previous... But no, yeah. I'm saying, does I, what? she have permission to do things that... on her own without, like, prompting- Oops, sorry. Input I hate- I hate drive. Owner? Because- when I was running a server, you couldn't just kick people from my server. You had to run it by me first. Yeah. She also said the grooming um, wasn't really a big deal, so I think that's okay, also what people well, are upset about. how much do they know about the grooming? For all yeah, they know, it's ignorance. They, 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 literally, they, they literally saw the evidence for it, and they decided instead to go after somebody else that, that apparently just lied about them. Instead of the... It proves that the real person to blame is whoever the hell made Rosa a mod. Yeah, the server owner is way more at fault for putting someone who can't advocate for themselves and mostly needs a caretaker, no offense. I mean, it should be the responsibility of the server owner, but seemingly they can't get a hold of the server owner or anybody else in this situation. And Rosa made herself a tasty target, and that's why they're targeting her right now. And dumping all of this on her because they have nobody else that they can... Uh, point their point their guns at right now. Actual predator in this. So room. now it's all and her fault. That also, Star Giant has brought up, who is the person who owned the server. Okay, so Star Giant owned the server. Got it. Okay, but how do you know that it was proven to Rosa that they were a predator? Like, because I've, I've seen, seen the information. Go ahead. Lyo, I've seen videos where people try to prove that someone's a predator and it doesn't get across. How mm -hmm. do you know that it was proven to Rosa that this person was a predator and she believed and knew that? See, that's what people always fucking ignore with these things. She she brings up a, ver a very good question here. Is that a lot of the times, these people just attribute malice to something that can easily be ignorance or stupidity, like Vlad said earlier. Um, like, people just forget that intent matters with these sorts of things. And if you can't prove intent, then you can't just label or just assume someone's intentions. And that's what they do. They're like, we just assume that she knew this and believed it and did nothing about it. But I'm pretty sure I heard Rosa say a couple of times that she didn't know about this or knew it was ser that serious. I mean, she even says that she... Like, they say that Rosa said, right... That she doesn't think it's that serious. And that leads me to believe that she's running off of ignorance, not malice. So just based on everything I've heard so far. Literally... Go ahead. Yeah, I was literally going to say that we've seen literally everything that was sent to Rosa. 
That doesn't prove that she acknowledges it as being- <clears throat> Yeah, because she's asking, how do you know that she's acknowledged this and believed it? And they just say, oh, because we've seen it. Seen what, bitch? Seen what? Being true. I've been sent bullshit before that I didn't believe. What proof is there that Rosa believed that they were a predator and actively chose not to do anything about it? Because when we had the initial call with her on Techno's channel, this is before I even knew this person was involved in it, it was brought to my attention that she was part of that server, and the moment I brought up Nekopon, she admitted that she knew what this person had done and did not immediately ban them. Okay, thank you. But that my point still stands. Do you honestly? Yeah, the moment Ponder started speaking, Peaches so far has shut the fuck up. A lot of people have shut the fuck up now. And again, if it was anybody else, you know they would be instantly dogpiled on, even if they were right, even if they were saying the exact same shit that Ponder's saying right now. I honestly think that all of the ad hominems and active bullying, because that is what this is, mm -hmm. is helping the situation. Yeah, I can't help but agree or with Ponda. Excuse me? Excuse me? Some ass I out of nowhere is like, Yeah guys, I, I agree with Ponder on this one. Uh, you guys? All of you guys? Are taking this way too far. I wasn't involved in this whatsoever. I always thought this was a bad idea. Oh, you, oh I hate it when people do that. I hate it when people- how, how many people in this call do you think are suddenly gonna be like, yeah, guys, I don't like what you guys are doing here, honestly. Like, I always thought this was a bad idea. That's Harley. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. It's a good thing Peaches is not speaking. That maybe Rosa's just gonna view this experience as a means of victimizing herself. Because you are all actively bullying her. So turning her into- Interesting that Harley TBS didn't say that until Ponder has said something. A victim in her own mind. You really think well, that's helping? Well, it depends. Go ahead. I just want to add something. She would have seen herself as a vi I believe that she would have seen herself as a victim, even if we weren't throwing any sort of ad hominem attacks. So what? As a whole. It doesn't matter. That justifies it there. How does- if you, Harley, if you thought that, why didn't you say anything until now? Then, if she already views herself as a victim, you're just cementing it in her mind. Yeah, you're reinforcing it. Okay. Okay. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Harley has no power? I mean, neither does Ponder. Neither of them have any power. Like, any real power. It's just perceived power the case if we are cementing in her mind that she is the victim of this situation here's the thing right if we're gonna criticize if we're gonna give them a pass if we're gonna give them a pass on not speaking up on something they feel is wrong simply because they have no power in the situation and have no uh, authority or any sense of authority whatsoever then why is it that they get to demonize and criticize other people for not speaking up even though they know something wrong is happening because they're afraid, because they have no power in the situation. Yeah, people need to stop using ad homs wrong. Ad hom does not equal insults. Yeah, I was guilty of using the word wrong until I was corrected early on in, uh, like, October. Yeah, it's, it's distinctly different. It is, when you're using an insult or attacking someone's character in place of an argument, basically. So an insult in itself is not an ad hominem. He would be right when he says that. I meant by speaking up. Uh, I meant that too. I don't see how... <laughs> if us calling them names is going to cement to them that they're a victim, then... I'm just going to leave right now. I guess the thing I'm trying to get across Good is idea. So much for you so much for y'all guys trying to help. Um, so, goodbye. So, that's interesting to note is that Ponder speaking up gave Rosa the courage to leave the chat. My cat just fucked up my leg. Good.
You deserve it. Harley is complicit in some of Hopeless Peaches and Leo's behavior. They were advocating for them until they went after Harley directly. Harley is an enabler. Yeah. Harley is an enabler of bullying by their standards. And also, Peaches. We're talking about the same Hopeless Peaches that said that she was bullied and ostracized in school, and that gave her trauma. But now she's allowed to do it to other people? Okay. I... You're welcome. I don't yep, think there she okay. goes. Alright, so now Rosa has left the call. Fucking finally. She probably should have done this three hours earlier. I don't think they would have... In fact, she should have not joined this call at all. Honestly, kudos to Ponder for, like, giving her the out that she needed in order to leave. Because that's what she very clearly needed. Taken a single thing you were going to say on board because they couldn't even process or say what they did wrong. The victim wanted an apology. The most basic manipulator could give a bullshit apology, and she couldn't. Mm. Give oh, I have food in my mouth. Oh, I'm. Huh? Sorry, run that oh, back. The victim. Or I don't think they would have taken a single thing you were going to say on board because they couldn't even process or say what they did wrong. The victim wanted an apology. The most basic manipulator could give a bullshit apology and she couldn't give a, the victim a goddamn thing. And we all know that's a fucking lie, right? Here's again just evidence of them just not taking into account anything the accused actually says during the conversation. Because we heard ourselves earlier in this same call, not even that long ago, that one of the victims said, I just want an apology. Rosa says, all I can do is apologize at this point. And she has said multiple times, I've heard her say multiple times, I'm sorry. And every time they jump on it to dismiss it. And now, towards at the end, they're saying, yeah, she never apologized. She never even, like, she could have said, I'm sorry. Even the most basic manipulator can say, I'm sorry, and she didn't even do that. She said nothing. That's a flat out- uh, that's a lie. That's 100% a lie. Like these- Hi, Mitzi. Like these people don't hear their own bullshit. That, that much is clear. I know you're not again- I know this, Vlad. I know this. You say it every time. I think requiring 50-plus people to intimidate and bully someone is pretty pathetic. Yeah. They aren't bullies, they are cowards. Sheeps and savages. Yeah, just rabid sheep at this point. She couldn't give the victim a sorry that was meaningful. And I hope Pondra calls that out, because she was present for that. In any sort of way, do you think that if we treated her with the kid gloves that she would have been able to give a proper apology, or that she would have taken in a single thing that was said? She, she did, multiple times. You just ignore it. Well, it's, it, it's not about the kid didn't gloves. Try that method. Yeah, they didn't even try. The victim was full on blown crying at that point. At that point, any sympathy for her had already gone. She could have just said sorry. And be, so be it. I, you know, she the did. thing about this woman is that she she just doesn't get it, you know. she, she we, we try to be nice. We yeah, but I mean, I mean, screaming insults at her we doesn't try. help, right? You can't say simultaneously that she doesn't understand and she doesn't get it, but then also place the responsibility on her for knowing and for understanding and also saying that she's malicious for not understanding. That doesn't make any sense. Ay ay like, ay. Jumping in a call and being like, "My God, these people really don't think for themselves." Like you're fat or whatever. That doesn't help the argument, right? You only serve to make that person feel like the victim. You serve to, like, I I get being angry with them, right? Like I understand. You know what bothers me? Peaches having this super like cutesy. Oh, I'm Bubbles. I'm so cute. Profile picture when she said the absolute most nasty shit she could think of to somebody. Like, I keep thinking of that Doki Doki Literature Club saying, like, you think you can ca counterbalance- You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality by dressing and acting cute? No. The saying it. I say I'm not against it because otherwise someone is gonna misunderstand me and assume I'm anti-bullying. I don't think anyone's gonna think that you, Vlad, are anti-bullying. 
understand that there's obvi- it's obvious this person's done things wrong, but I feel like going in and verbally berating them does nothing more than feed you guys' then why, personal feelings. Then why didn't you say that, Harley? Why didn't you speak up? Things and emotions and, like, venting. And, like, I get venting, but this doesn't feel healthy. Or... Oh my god, there's more people above this line. Okay, but... Okay, those guys are in a different call, I think. Productive okay, anyway. got it. Yeah. Bam, I, I just can... when I think it can't get any worse, it gets worse. What? <laughs> what? I mean, I can agree with that to an extent. And like Baby Bunny Guts in the chat said, it's hard to be nice with a pedophile sympathizer. And it's also the fact that... Again, you're just assuming that they're a pedophile sympathizer and not just ignorant to this whole thing. Rosa is 30 years old. They have lived on this earth seven years longer than I have. They are still- Wow, congratulations. Because they <laughs> it's like she heard me. <laughs> get off their ass and get a life of their own. And they think it's fine. Are you saying my avatar is not cute? Either you're saying my avatar is not cute or I'm not trustworthy. I take offense to that. They think it's Either fine way. to be a pedophile, pedophile sympathizer. They said it wasn't a big deal that someone got groomed. They couldn't even say, I'm sorry you got groomed. All they could say was, oh, my feelings, oh, my feelings. And oh, I don't want Not true. They did say that they were this. sorry. It's like, at what point do you realize that your, her personal life, well, not you as in you, it's more, it's Rosa. Yes, Why, we know. At what point would she or they realize that this isn't about... Rosa, this is not about them. This is about the. It's one hundred percent about them. Because there's multiple. God damn it! I think, and I could be corrected. And there's only if, one victim. If yeah. I can, it, if I can chime in here real quick, is everybody familiar with what belief perseverance is, or what the backfire effect is? I believe you're about to explain it. Okay. Yeah. So. What is happening? For those who don't. It essentially means that if you come from a place of confrontation and debunking and trying to present evidence or, or even just in a way that is confrontational to somebody you're trying to convince, it has the exact opposite effect. Yeah, but these people have never cared about that. The goal of this was to never get them to understand. That was never the goal of this. This goal, the goal of this was to find somebody to target, to take out all of their like self-loathing on and all of their own personal traumas on because they're mad like they want to take it out on the newest villain of the week because that's how they get there that's how they fucking deal with the their own stupid shit in their life are we just going to remove all all nuisance of rent skyrocketing in price and disabled people having a harder time finding a job let alone a high paying job yeah they always just forget that and instead, they will reinforce those beliefs oh, even so that's deeper the, the than before. For what I was referring to. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Mm. I see. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what, Leo? Leo, I, I think he heard that and was like, "Hmm, yes, I see. Interesting." Like he didn't know that. Are you for real, Leo? Hear that again. Yeah. Deeper. And instead, Hang they on, will listen. reinforce those. I can't tell if it's Leo because I can't see who's speaking right now, but uh, I'm pretty sure that was Leo who said that. Beliefs oh, even so deeper the, the than before. what I was referring to. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that is, that is Leo, you dumbass. Like, you didn't know that? Oh my god, who knew that being aggressive and confrontational with somebody would only make them more closed off and defensive? Wow, who knew? By victimizing herself, you're... Probably just making her feel justified in the beliefs that you were so pissed about. Yeah. Because and... you guys are so adversarial, <laughs> you make yourselves the enemy. Who's saying this now? Who who else is speaking up? I, all these people that are fucking jumping in to be like, yeah, guys, you took it too far. Again, this reminds me of that Gus Johnson video that I just want to play briefly because this con this is like the Senate incarnate. I, I see your video here, Vlad. Hang on. Yo, did you hear about that guy that may or may not- But again, this is just the Senate in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, I think I read about it on Reddit a little bit. Yo, what's up? Who we fucking up? Oh, Reddit. Reddit. 
We take it someone's career right now or what? No. Uh, chill out. Jesus. I'll skip a lot of it, so I'm not playing the whole thing. Problem, dude. I don't like waiting. I want to do things now. What information do I possibly need to know? I just found an article right here. Quote it in the comments for me. Just read it. Just I... Give me two sentences, what I need to know. Well, this is the Senate. Well, you take it way out of context, you gotta read the full thing. I read context! Red, 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 Hey, come hey, on, hey, stop what? that. What? What do you propose okay, we do? The guy you're talking about. What if it's just too early, and he didn't actually do it? Oh my god, I don't know. Give me the down vote. No, I'm not giving you the down vote, okay? This is my power. I wield it. Down vote! Down vote! Down vote! Down Okay, you guys are being babies. Why don't you just tell me what the problem is? Listen, sometimes Reddit gets a justice boner, and they act way too strong and way too fast on something without all the facts being in. So maybe just wait next time before you hurt somebody or ruin their life. Oh, so you're saying that Reddit is the problem? <clears throat> sometimes, yeah. Oh, bro, can you hold these real quick? Yeah, what's up? Take these, put them on. Okay. Okay. Dude, Reddit? You guys went way too far on this. What one. are you Dude, talking stop. about? Yep, that that's this in a nutshell. The second that that ponder jumps in to criticize them, all of a sudden all these fucking cowards are coming out of the woodworks being like, yeah guys, you guys were taking it a little too far as if they weren't complicit in this. Jump scared by the thumbnail. Yeah, but the the sheer hypocrisy and deflection there is like it's so frustrating because I recognize it instantly. Right? Yeah. You, yeah, make, you make yourself look unapproachable like the bad guys. and you make it difficult for people to see and, and, and change and, and come and feel like. I wish I knew who was talking right now. Like they have a place to go, right? You want they these don't. people to learn from their mistakes? You want no, they don't. To That's not what they want, clearly. And they've shown that. I do a wee bit of poaching. <laughs> a place to go? You don't want to- Uh, sorry. I wonder how many kids- Sorry. I wonder how many kids Leo had that we'll find in some swamp a hundred years from now. <laughs> I don't know about that. You, you shouldn't want them- I'll leave that to up to the authorities. be like this forever, right? Not unless they're like a completely irredeemable fucking human being, which if, if they're just somebody who's like misinformed or defending- uh, a Fucking Leo. ...person that they thought was- Oh my god. Friend, you know. Oh my god, there's 50 plus people in this call and somebody has weird background noise? No way, it's like you have too many fucking people in this call! Yikes! No. Then... Hold on real quick, Skritis, is that coming from your end or is... No, it's from Zay. No, it's from Zay's mic. Alright, Zay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you real quick, just to, at least until we get this done. Oh, it's dinner! <laughs> Dinner. There we go. I, I server muted um, him. I'll unmute him in a couple minutes. When I don't know pass. who that was. Just let me know in, in chat. Yeah, some people don't have good call etiquette. When it's past what eight. I'm saying is, you, if you want somebody to change, and if you want somebody to grow, you have to give them a place. Yeah, the only person that had the balls to speak up was Ponder. But I don't know if she would have had the balls to speak up about it if she didn't have the clout that she has. That they can go and feel comfortable growing and changing and evolving as opposed to saying no you're an irredeemable piece of shit fuck you i hope you die i hope you see i i, I hope i hope this eats away at you for the rest of your life and that you never forget it and, and you know like all that sort of shit and it's like damn like i'm i'm not even you know the one being yelled at and i feel bad for this person Sam. and i don't yeah, want to feel bad for this person if they did something fucked up and they shouldn't you know, right? Yeah, like, that's another side effect of this behavior is that you make the person being accused look more empathetic or sympathetic. Sorry, you make them look more like a sympathetic figure that people can go easier on. Like I'm already more inclined to go easier on the people that these people scream and bitch at simply because they act hell of a lot worse. I sh but yeah, the people that are speaking up right now, they're only doing so because Ponder had the guts to do it first. It is cowards. It's because you should I should like, be you don't have to have sympathy the here. Right? You don't have to have sympathy for the person to not, like, go in, like, there was a person in the call a few seconds ago who was like, this person is seven years older than me, but they still with their, their, live with their parents and stuff. It's like, you can say this person's a pedo sympathizer, and you can say this person's fucking, like, really in the wrong for that without bringing up the random character attacks it's yeah like do i need to point out that i am also 30 currently still living at home 
Well, there's a difference in why that for sure. You're actually decent. Oh, there's a difference. There's not a difference. I mean, it's just. She's kind of quiet, but I don't know if you guys heard that, but Pondra said, Do you guys realize that I'm also in my 30s and I still live at home? And somebody said, Well, there's a difference. And she said, Oh, really? There's a difference. What's the difference? It's but just like, an insult. And I mean, like, you're still like grouping people together and, and saying that's like a bad thing about them, right? Or my point with that point was. I was trying to make, if you don't it, mind, the reason why we brought that up specifically or rather other people perhaps, the reason why I brought it up when we were talking specifically about her going after Zaid constantly is her claim, well, she just wants Zaid to change while she sits there and collaborates with people who have been genuinely terrible to him. My point- I got one up on these guys. I don't live at home. <laughs> I don't live with my parents. I actually do uh, um, live in my own place. And bringing that up is what's her point of reference for telling people they need to change when she doesn't have her own, yeah. when she doesn't have her own life together just in general. What? Okay, so they were they were asking her irrelevant questions about her personal life. So that's another one on the bingo card. We got ding 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 asks personal or irrelevant questions. So we we're pretty close. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think there's any hope of them declaring victory after the slap down Ponder's giving them right now. They need to change when she doesn't have her own, when she doesn't have her own life together, just in general. What? That was my point. Why, uh, Ly I'm sorry, that's stupid. <laughs> Get him! Get him! Finally, someone said it. <laughs> How is that stupid? Like, because it has nothing to do with specifically living at home. You can be changing and living at home. You can want someone else to change while you're living at home. What the actual fuck does her living, uh, like, does where she lives have to do with the fact that she wanted somebody else to change about something? Like, you can- Okay, so I think these are people that are talking in the chat in this VC. Okay, well, I, I can barely read it. It's so blurry. It's just like very... You can dislike oh, the fact that she's not changing, but bringing up where she lives and her family is completely, yeah. it's, 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 real, real it's quick. not necessary. Real quick, I just want to mention, Lyo, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that because I, I do think this is coyote. the living at home comment is not necessarily always- Oh, you too! You too, huh? You're gonna speak up now? Fucking cowards, all of these people. Now Coyote Lovely is like, yeah, man, I think that was a little too far. I'm going to have to disagree. None of these people would have ever said anything in disagreement if uh, if Ponder hadn't said anything. Literal cowards, Please, all of them. Like, on point. Because, like, you know that I'm almost 32, and right now I'm currently living at home, and the reason why is because... Oh, whoa, we see a pattern here with these art commentary people all living at home. My fucking home burned down last summer. But that, mm. doesn't, that doesn't suddenly change the... <laughs> what I have together, what I don't have together in life. I, th I think those comments are not- Oh my god, imagine getting demolished, absolutely demolished in your own Discord call, in your own Senate. Not always the most productive, and this is coming from the guy who literally is insisted on a retard counter earlier, but... <laughs> so take that for what you think it's worth. So it's one of those things that I think that comment at least is not always the most on-point thing. I think they kind of have a point here. Alright, I'll take it under advisement. I'll take it under advisement? Did you hear what he said there? He was like, all right, I'll take it under advisement. That's a uh, that's a that's a pretentious way of saying. How about y'all just shut the fuck up and leave me alone, okay? That's a pretentious way of saying that. That's a very dismissive way of saying I'm not gonna listen to anything you're saying right now. And notice how how like very uh, he's much quieter now than he was. He's not as domineering as he used to be. Because someone far more, uh, far more blunt and abrasive than him is, uh, speaking up against him. Because Leo's on the losing end at the moment, they smell blood in the water, cowards. Yeah, I mean, all of these people, they're so quick to turn on one another at the drop of a hat. I wouldn't trust any of these people, and, and time and time again, these people constantly have dramas with what I- what they call troll shielding in their own community, when honestly I think all of these people were already just like this. And what, what I was saying- oh, oh, sorry. I'm, sorry. 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 I mean, like, I feel like- okay, like, I always sympathize her, okay, like, but there are points where, like, that's why I was, like, trying to tell her when she was, like, trying to interrupt me. I said, I was being nice. I wasn't yelling. I wasn't screaming. I was just telling her, you need to know when you have fucked up 
essentially. You you were a little bit screaming. Let's be yeah. real. Okay, fight yeah. me, fight me. But but then again, my voice. <laughs> no, was we're loud. gonna we're not gonna right. mince words. You were kind yeah. of screaming. Okay, okay, but my voice. Was I, I do loud. remember specifically thinking when when you said, "Oh, I'm," and I'm not screaming. I'm like, "Were you not?" <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I've always been loud though. Okay, back to the point. What I'm saying is that. Yes. The Senate's literally a den of thieves. It sure seems like it. Because constantly, time and time again, they have drama with people that were in, like, their Discord. It's always people that, like, they catch in their Discord. Are we sure they're not all just like that and they need to find, like, the next person to sacrifice? They have been for years and nobody learns. Yeah. Nobody fucking learns. Yes, perhaps we, we went really hard, but the thing is, I live with my grandmother because I live here in Texas, so, so do I. And I've been discriminated for me being on the spectrum. Phone, by the way. Rosa is on the spectrum. Oh, is she? Also, people on the spectrum having issues getting jobs. That too. And also, autistic people having a hard time articulating themselves. And having a hard time in social situations. No fucking way. What? It's almost like that's why she was having trouble speaking up for herself. I have empathy for people like this because I've been in a similar situation with this. And maybe after this, if I continue streaming, I might do like a story time on it because I think it's kind of interesting stuff. But when I was in boarding school, a similar situation happened to me where I said something in confidence with somebody. And then that thing I said got spread around to everybody. And then I was put in a corner while a bunch of adults fucking talked down to me and yelled at me and punished me and kept asking me why I would say these things, and then I would try to explain myself, but I had no way to articulate my words because I was an autistic kid. And then they would shame me for that, and they would just presume my guilt because I was unable to explain myself. A lot of young people are still living with their parents because the economy is dog shit right now. Like, a lot of us are just expected to, like, like, people older than us, they fuck up the economy, and then they think it's our job to, like, okay, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, make it happen, idiot. It's tough. It's tough. I'm in a position right now where I don't have a job. I'm in between jobs right now. I don't- I haven't had a job for, like, about a year now. Um. I'm- I'm not ashamed to admit that. But I still try to do things with myself. I'm constantly trying to improve myself, and I help out my parents with anything they need, and I support the people around me. So just because you don't have a job doesn't mean you're not doing things with your life. It, it just, it all depends on what is going on in your personal life. And using those things as an insult to somebody is just, you're, you're part of the problem, essentially. Like, I mean, I'm sure we can make all sorts of judgments about Leo, uh, and the fact that he spends- he wastes all of his money on collecting toys, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure isn't his money, it's actually his wife's money that he spends on all these fucking toys. But that's besides the point. We could sit here and talk about that all day if we wanted to. I don't think Leo has any room to judge, if I'm being honest. People have been giving their patience and their time to talk to her. But she keeps on making excuses. <laughs> you don't need a job. You're female. Get married to someone with... Hey, you can either get rich... Uh, get rich by marrying a rich guy, or you can have a disability. <laughs> That's why I always tell people, hey, I may be retarded, but I don't have to pay for my medical bills, so... Get fucked. Limit to how many excuses a person can make before they piss off. You know what I'm saying or not? It's like... One, two, three. Like, you have to, like, pulling teeth with this person. You know what I'm saying or not? So it's like, mm -hmm. I... Come yeah, but on, screaming at them it. isn't going to stop them from making excuses, right? They're just going to continue mean, to make more. It's just a waste of time at that point. It's a coping mechanism. It's something yeah. everybody does when they're being accused of something, even if they feel guilty. Like, especially if they feel guilty about it. They don't want to... Th nobody wants to view themselves... Yeah, it's almost like this, this entire call is pointless and solves nothing. Bad person. Yeah. I mean, like... It, it, that's a, a very normal reaction for people to have is to try and make excuses and justify it in their own heads and obviously that's not okay especially if the things they're doing are unjustifiable but it's 
it's to be expected, you know? Huh? But like I said, because we, this, like I said, some people, because I, I guess when she was trying to cope, she said some very bad takes that pissed off a lot of people, including myself. Everyone says, everyone makes bad takes when they're on the defensive. Everyone makes bad takes when they're on the defensive. I've made bad takes just sitting here. Everyone makes bad takes. If that's enough for you to get, like, pissed off enough where you're calling someone all these horrible things, then go fuck yourself. I ban everyone from my server that have accents that sound like they're from... <laughs> okay, Vlad. No, because, God forbid, we are giving you the... Honey, where are there anime we figurines on my bed? Honey, I told you, no anime figurines in the bedroom. I keep telling you this, and you never listen to me. We're giving you our time and, you know, our patience, but you can't do, you know? You don't sound up. We're giving you our time and our patience, but you're not allowed to leave if we want to chew you out. But we're allowing you to sit here and be bullied. You see how manipulative that is? Like, they'll be there and be like, oh, you're done when I say you're done, but then this person's sitting here being like, uh, we gave her our time and our patience, and see, she was so ungrateful. At the same time, it's like a kidnapper being like, I allow you to stay in my house, and this is how you treat me. <laughs> okay. I get it that maybe that's how she copes. I get it. But you cannot just keep people spinning around in a circle, you know? I don't think this is a, an Indian accent. I don't think so. I know. Can I just point out that you also just made an excuse about your behavior when I pointed out that everyone's behavior was gross? Oh, she sure did. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. like, I wasn't I wasn't yelling at like that was you excuse that was you making an yeah. excuse. I will I will also point out, and this is self-inclusive, so don't think I'm making any kind of What? Hypocrisy? No way. Like distinction for me on this one. None of us gave her any patience. What part of Texas do you live in? That's awful. I can't work due to people saying sorry we don't hire autistic people. Yeah, cuz I mean, especially in Texas, a lot of these a lot of people uh Thankfully, it'll be easier for me to find a job because I actually have um 5 years of experience in places like uh special ed and stuff like that, but um because I've been working on losing weight and focusing on my health, I haven't been looking right now. But I'm sure if I started looking, it wouldn't be too hard for me to find a decent job. <laughs> okay, Vlad. So, like, don't don't say that we gave yeah. her. We were no, not at all patient. Yeah, and I'm, we, I'm seeing people in chat saying. We have to be honest with that. I'm, I'm seeing honest, people in chat not. saying that we uh being passive with them doesn't help either. Like nobody, nobody here. No one's asking you to be passive with them. That isn't the point. It's like these people don't understand what interrogations are. It's like you can watch a single- you can watch a single JCS video and know more about how to properly talk to these people than these idiots do. And saying these arguments is saying that you need to be passive with them. It's just there is- Just some advice, you don't have to disclose your disability. You don't have to, no. But if you want to make sure that your specific needs for your disability are met in the workplace, then you have to. Um, and also, I disagree. We shouldn't have to hide autism. We shouldn't have to hide the fact that we have a disability if we're trying to find a job. We shouldn't have to. That's my take on it. I could go on a whole tangent about that, um, but I'm not getting paid for it anymore, so I'm not going to. Is there is no reason to character attack them and bully them. Hold on, no, no, Lyo actually had something he wanted to say. Don't, don't cut him off on this one. Just bear in mind, it wasn't too long after this that Harley TBS was magically a predator enabler. Well, again, their usage of that term is so fucking vague, it doesn't even matter at this point. I think that it's not correct to say that she wasn't given any patience by anybody. Blue gave this person a lot of patience. Oh, is that your reasoning, Leo? Oh, I don't think it's reasonable to say that we didn't give her patience. I mean, one person in this call was patient with her. Okay, out of the sea of 56 other people that weren't, you really think that's going to make a dent, Leo? Get real. A lot of patience, like 
three hours of patience. Okay. Oh, poor, poor you. You spent th three hours of your time holding her emotionally and mentally hostage and saying that she wasn't allowed to leave. And now it's her fault for wasting your time. Fuck off. Hey, well, well, gold star for blue. Most of yeah. us were not patient with her. Nobody I certainly wasn't. I yeah. certainly wasn't for the brief time that I talked. I'll get, I'll fucking I, own I that wasn't. shit. I, I, yeah, either. I, I, want, I was. Well, as I mean, Coy at least Coyote is honest about that, I suppose. Ooh, I if was nothing an else, I asshole, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. So, <laughs> also, also, I just wanna, I just wanna ask a little question. I'm See, it seems like Coyote is like the only honest person in the Senate, or was anyway. He basically just said there, "I bullied her because it was funny, because it was fun to do it." I feel like they would all be more respectable if they were just honest about their intentions instead of trying to make it this altruistic thing, because it's not. I'm a little uh, confused here. I heard the person bringing up that they were they were going to leave the call, and then right after people were like, well, I'm going to call your mother. Like, what the, what, what the fuck was that about? What's going on there? Yeah, that, that uh, sounds like a, yeah. a no, that sounds like blackmail, practically. How is that blackmail? Uh, I don't think it's blackmail. That's not quite- it is a threat, though. Uh, Harley- well, basically Harley said that at some point during this call, um, Rosa wanted to leave or asked to leave, and they said, well, if you leave, we're gonna call your mom, we're gonna call your parents, which is a threat, which is, again, holding her hostage. I don't know, would you guys consider that blackmail? I don't think they're being vague, Enla. They are deconstructing the meaning of a pedo enabler. Disconstructing? No, I... No, I think you misunderstood what I said, North. Oh, exactly. Wow. If, if you yeah. don't... Or maybe maybe I mis misused the term. It's not vague. It's their definition is so broad that they basically... Anyone that disagrees with their methods or their behavior is a pedophile enabler. Do the okay, thing I want you to do. I am going to yeah, do this you're thing to you. to like... drag her mother into online situations when she's specifically yeah. indicated that she... I mean, like, you I mean Lyle wasn't threatening. He was demanding. What well, that's just <laughs> so now we're just arguing semantics. He would contact yeah, yeah, guys, guys, he wasn't he wasn't yelling, he was just right. speaking very loudly and angrily. You know, guys, like, I I can <laughs> talk for myself. Oh, poor Leo getting all pouty because he can't get a word in. Did you guys hear that? Leo said, you know, guys, I can talk to myself if I wanted to. Oh, poor baby. Oh. Are you kidding me? That's so pathetic. <laughs> I can talk to myself and I'm allowed to. Yeah. Okay. When people okay, started so. saying like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little gremlin right now. Oh my god, that's amazing! I love, uh, Ponder. Uh, you know what? Respect for Ponder restored just for that. Did you hear that? No, guys. Like, oh, did you hear that? He complains about not being heard, and then he's about to say something, and Ponder immediately cuts him off at the right time. I love that. Let's listen to that again. I, I can talk for myself. <laughs> I can talk for myself, and I'm allowed to. Yeah. When people okay, started so. saying, like, oh, hey. Like <laughs> uh, it's not blackmail's coercion? Yeah, okay. That is, yeah, that would be coercion. <laughs> oh my god, that was part, like, bravo, Ponder. That was amazing. Bravo to you. But also, stop hanging out with this guy. Stop hanging out with Leo, please. Like, we can get her aunt, or we can call her mother. Like, actively contacting her family. Like, as a 30-year-old, if I had a disagreement with someone about something, and someone was like, oh, I'm gonna call your mom. You don't think I would view that as a threat? Or, like, well, something yeah. like disagreeing with somebody. It's someone who, they, they're a pedophile sympathizer. <sighs> oh my god, that, that... Bare bones justification. And I'm sorry. That is sorry. A threat? Listen like to this. Yeah. Like disagreeing with somebody. It's someone who they, they're a pedophile sympathizer. Well, I decide they're a pedophile defender. Therefore, we're justified to say any threats we want. 
and I'm sorry, but you think contacting her mom is going to help? Like, what if her mom shares the exact same fucking thing, that it's none of her business and she shouldn't get involved? What if her yeah. mom has the exact same opinion? What are you going to do then? And it's also, it also like, it, it also feels like intimidation. Like, I know your mom's number. I I'm know I'm sorry, that was, live. Di- that was directed towards else. me. I would sure like to be able to respond to it if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, poor Leo can't get a word in. Oh. Thank you. Okay. So please, someone cut him off again. Rosa is pulled, both in the fact that they're constantly obsessed. Yeah, we definitely need to add that to the bingo card. Leo complaining that no one's listening to him. Thing with Zaid, including people who have threatened Zaid, or complaining that he's being talked over before, and the fact that they make notes north. They made it very clear that they are willing to put children in danger by having somebody around a server that they could remove. Whether they could get okay for it or not isn't really my point here, but they could remove if this person is in fact. Her handler. She- Sorry, what? Her mother is her handler? In fact, her handler? She needs to be brought aware of it. Now, if... So that's his justification, right? Her mother is her hand. By the way, that's a really offensive way to describe someone's guardian or caregiver as their handler. We're not animals, Leo. Autistic people are not animals. People don't handle us. Okay. People take care of us if we need it. So, kind of ableist, Leo. You get okay for it or not isn't really my point here, but they could remove. If this person is, in fact, her handler, she needs to be brought aware of it. Now, no, she doesn't. If her mother agrees with her. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, exactly, Nuggies. He says handler instead of t- I take high offense to that, actually. Do at that point. I think a lot of mentally disabled people would take, would take, uh... Leo makes me want to gouge my ears out of my skull. I know, dude. Wait, but she's an adult, right? Like, yeah, she's an adult! Like, you, like I'm, I'm... You, you yeah, what do you mean, like, handler? If, yeah, if she's the handler. Like, that implication alone indicates that Rosa may have an intellectual disability and needs a handler. Boom! You know what? I can always rely on Ponder to catch on to those little details. I didn't even catch on to that. And now they've cr- and now they've created a paradox for themselves. The paradox has been completed. But like if if they don't have an intellectual disability and If it sounds like I'm sucking Ponder's dick, I'm kind of sucking her dick because damn, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful sight to behold. You're just contacting their mom. What the fuck is their mom going to do? They're 30. Mhm. Yeah. Like, there's and, no and, and reason also, for that. I, I also feel like it's kind of weird to say, hey, they didn't ban this person on a Discord server to their, like, probably 50-year-old at 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 least mother. Like, I, I, I doubt the mother weird knows what, like, Discord to make. or any of that means in the first place, let alone, like... <laughs> no, but it's been my experience that nine times out of ten when you're dealing with someone like this and they find out something like that's happened, they try to get them offline. That's what we had to do with Falconic. Oi. What Peach said was so gross, I agree. With her consent! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, I would not suck her dick even with her consent. I, I have no idea what any of those words are, can David. I, can I ask one question? Holy shit! You're gonna have to- I'm sorry, I need to make a pause. There are 26 viewers right now? How'd that happen? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this. Oh, sorry, my thing broke. So- <laughs> sorry, I was not expecting that. <laughs> sorry, I'll keep going. We're almost done with this, thank God. Where is Peaches in this debate? Oh, she's gone completely quiet. She's still here. She's still unmuted. But she's completely silent now. All the vibrato that she had went out the window because the person that is on the stage right now isn't a vulnerable, mentally ill person. So, they have nothing. As many as you want, as long as I'm able to stay awake for it. Uh, this one will actually be my um, last question, uh, since I gotta head off anyway. At this point, uh, do you think it's just best to finally just maybe accept that Rosa is a lost cause. There's just no way we're going to get accountability or have her take responsibility for it. Cause at this point, it seems like it, it seems like she's only saying some things to make herself out to be the victim. So at this point, any further confrontation is just going to result in her constantly thinking they're being attacked. Uh, some people are a lost cause, believe it or not. 
I, uh, I had an experience like this recently. I've mentioned it a few times, but before I started streaming again, earlier last year, uh, one of my friends came to me wanting me to, to look into something about a case, not a case, but like, it was a situation in one of our other Discord server groups where somebody was being called out for being in a group chat where they were having sexual conversations and sharing NSFW pictures with minors. And they wanted me to look into it um, and see if this person was actually guilty of that. It turns out they were, oh, without a doubt. They tried making a Google Doc to defend themselves, but the Google Doc was pretty bad because their excuses were, well, the minors were participating in the sexual conversations, but that doesn't make it okay or justifiable. But I tried explaining to this person all of these different things that no matter what, it's the adult's responsibility to not engage with children like this. And uh, um, that she was actively complicit in these conversations. And time and time again, no matter how many times, no, have, no matter how many different ways I try to explain it to her um, or rationalize it or help her understand, she just came back with the same shit over and over again. And even so far as to say that the laws that I was telling her didn't matter because she and her mom disagreed with them. Therefore, it wasn't illegal what they were doing. And at some point, you kind of just have to be like, okay, yeah, they're a lost cause. I, I really just hope you don't do this again. <laughs> like, at that point, engaging with them further will just continue to radicalize them to make themselves believe that they're the victim. And no matter what, this person always believed that she was being victimized. No matter what I tried to tell her. But yeah, at some point, you kind of just have to say, you have to cut your losses and then just distance yourself from them and warn people about them, but like, anywhere you can and move on. <laughs> like... So he, he makes a good point here, is that sometimes people are just lost causes. However, in this situation, I don't think Rosa was a lost cause. I mean, the fact that Rosa was even willing to come into this call in the first place tells me that there was some, like, either wanting to explain themselves or even to understand. I feel like if there wasn't 50 plus people in this stupid fucking call, all dogpiling on one person, Maybe somebody might have been able to talk to her and help her understand why this shit was wrong. Rosa is mentally defective. She literally can't be accountable. I disagree. Everyone has some degree of accountability for their own actions, despite, like... I mean, like, autism, right? If, if Rosa has autism, and that's all we know, that doesn't mean she's not accountable for her actions. But there is the possibility that she just is super ignorant about the, the actions that she didn't take in order to do something about this. Maybe she didn't think it was any of her business, or maybe she truly thought it wasn't a big deal. There's a lot of possibilities that aren't being considered here for the sake of just wanting to dogpile on somebody and take out all their own aggression on somebody and then morally justify it to themselves. What is with them calling her that word? Uh, I, I think... <laughs> yeah. But anyway, sorry, we'll continue. Enough of me rambling. Wait, just let her be. If she wants to fuck up on her own, continue to fuck up on her own, fine. But we warn people to like... I mean, it goes... God damn, I did the fucking same thing again. It goes without saying that she should not have been a moderator in a Discord at all in the first place. She seems like a, the kind of person who's very easy to manipulate and to coerce into doing things. I mean, why else would she stay in this call for four hours? But, uh... She's not the kind of person to be, that's fit to be a mod, clearly. But the person who is the most responsible for this is the owner of the server and the predator. We don't even know who the predator in question is at this point. Like, avoid her, you know what I'm saying or not? So, like, we're, yeah, we're yeah. We, we obviously need to warn people about what kind of person she is, mm -hmm. but at this point, the confrontations are just going to completely uh, fuel her into thinking that everyone who's just attacking her is just attacking her for no reason. She'll always keep running from what she did, and it's only when she's confronted that she'll... I've seen these kind of cases before where they're going to... I've seen these kind of cases before where um um people will 
generally speaking, only pretend to take responsibility if it means like, hey, get off my back already. Clearly. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, people, I mean, even then, they just won't accept their apology. Like, I don't feel like they would have accepted any apology that Rosa could have made. Because we've seen in so many other instances that when people do try to make genuine apologies, they get interrupted in order to be uh, insulted some more. It never works. She's already showing, based on her own actions, she is not going to learn. The only way she's going to stop is if she deletes her Twitter and stays off the internet voluntarily, or if someone informs her mom and she has it taken away from her. Again, why would her mom have the ability to take it away from her? Yeah, she's an adult. She's a grown yeah. adult. Yep. Unless Good question. she has a learning disability and needs a caregiver. And that's the paradox. That is the illogical paradox that is happening here, because they want to have it both ways. They want to paint Rosa as this malicious, conniving person who knew what they were doing was wrong, but then also want to insult their intelligence and make it out like they're, they're, they're so mentally defective that they need a handler, as Lyo puts it. Uh, like, handler is what you use to describe feeding and cleaning up horse stables, not people. I agree. I think the idea of trying to hold a mentally defective person who requires a caretaker... Well, we don't know if that's true, first of all. But that's the thing. We don't know if that's true, if they're so mentally ill that they need their uh, mother to still be a caretaker for them. We don't know that. They're just assuming that in order to in insult her intelligence. Like, that's the only reason that they would bring it up. And for intimidation points. But yeah, Ponder makes an excellent point here by pointing out the uh, the contradiction. Point, this four-hour bullshit is even less necessary mm. because then there's potential hey, that guy. reason as to why she doesn't understand the situation. All right, I don't think I don't think she doesn't understand the situation though. That's I think the mm. difference between what I'm thinking and what you're thinking. I don't think she actually doesn't understand the situation. Oh. I think, I think she doesn't she does like it. Or does not. I'm saying I think there's a possibility, and I don't think that's being considered. Mm -hmm. Especially mm, uh, given yeah. that, like, the implication of, like, oh, her mother is her handler, and that, like, just sort of confirming that hypothesis from in my mind. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I can't be sure either way, but that was the vibe I got. And the fact that, like, everyone was sort of just ignoring that was, and, and using certain words that I will not be repeating. Didn't Leo literally say he knew for a fact that she required a handler? I don't know, but it, I wouldn't put it past him, just considering that Leo says he knows things for a fact when he really doesn't all the time. Coyote. Um, You're welcome. But, like, I just don't see how it's supposed to be helping. It, it Most of what I came in for, it, it just felt like people raging at someone, which I can understand yeah. the feelings, but I don't see how it's productive in getting her to actually change her opinion. Like, I, I, mean, I mean, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on. Do you, do you uh, want Because there were different things being thrown around throughout the entire course of this call from when I joined. So, like, what, what specifically are we talking about here? I'm specifically um, talking about the ad hominem attacks and bodily insults. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, Bro, Ponder's voice is so annoying. Well, mine's kind of, again, mine's a lot like hers. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, to an extent, yeah, but I can put up with it. Because she she makes good points. Poor, or changing her name to that, calling her fat, calling her a retard. Mm -hmm. None of that was fucking necessary. Oh no, it wasn't yeah. necessary. Oh, but it was. I I will make the statement. What? Excuse me. She says that shit wasn't necessary, and then somebody randomly says, "Oh, it was." I excuse me, how? How? But I didn't call her anything except retarded, and I did that maybe like twelve times, admittedly. Uh, but you're right; it wasn't necessary. But for the point that I was making, I didn't really care if it was necessary or not. I thought it was funny. You had a point All right, that required well, um, you to say the R word twelve. No, I I acknowledge I acknowledge that I did not need to. I said so because it was funny. Uh -huh. um, can um, I can I ask under? I'm speaking from the POV that what Leo says is something he believes is true, and if it is, I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. It makes the entire thing pointless, and again, it just makes this paradox that I don't think he actually understands. That's Ponder's question. Or he does understand it, and he just decides to ignore it. Um, uh, actually, one is just a uh, clarification. Oh, it's not even healthcare provider. We're talking about guardianship, like parents, or grandparents, or aunts and uncles. Like, um, if 
if a uh, a healthcare provider is like your doctor, <laughs> it's not the same thing. And but then I'll ask a question. You said that there's a possibility that they might have a learning disability. Was it you said? Yes. <laughs> the R word. Oh, you mean retard? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listen, I have an intellectual disability. It's fine. I'm allowed to say it. Okay. Um, would you say that with that learning disability and the constant um, problems they keep putting themselves in, would you say that them being on the internet is definitely not a safe or maybe mentally uh, a good environment for them to be in mentally because it could cause a lot more problems for them in the future that may lead to other um what's the word i'm looking for bad stuff happening later but who are you to make that call though you don't know her as a person you don't know what what exact mental illnesses she have she has you don't know how much her autism impacts her you don't know where she is on the spectrum you don't know these things so to just make these blatant assumptions in order to justify trying to intimidate and scare them and, and drive them off the internet that's they're they're working backwards they start with an action and then try to justify that action which is really fucking annoying this is all leo's fault for building his community around optics and blue hair identity politics he has no one to blame but himself yeah true there's no way I could possibly know um, that because I don't know the nature of her disability. Yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 that's kind of silly. You're asking me to well, make, uh, like, make an opinion based on information. Leo just said that's silly. <laughs> that's silly that she wouldn't know. Okay, whatever. I don't have. Rosa said to Leo <laughs> in the first call that she was on the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, I definitely can't do that unless I... Really? So Leo knew this and decided to call her all these things anyway. Fascinating, not surprising, but interesting. Professionally analyze that, like actually do that, Wait. which I can't do over the internet. That'd be... Uh, that, that wouldn't work. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did, you're not, was you're that, also not her psychiatrist. Really so, quick, really quick, uh, Leo. Is that, is that, is that exactly, true? Did, exactly. she actually, did she actually say she was on the spectrum in the first call? Yeah, she did. Well, now I feel bad. Oh. Wow! Well, well, that would have been nice to know for everybody. Well, that's fascinating. So Leo knew, and I assume that most people in this Senate call didn't know that she was autistic. And Leo knew this and decided to withhold that information from the rest of the group so that they felt more justified in dogpiling on this person. That's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. So now a bunch of people are saying... Well, I would have treated her differently if I knew that. Interesting. Oh, that would have been handled a lot better. You guys, so did you? You so you guys did background check, background check Rosie when it comes to the disability or not, and figure out whether or not their disability affects them talking to tons of people or with insults or shouting, right? It doesn't matter if you're talking to a bunch of people or one on one like she had. It okay, it me. does matter. Can I finish? Can I finish? Am I allowed? Did you did you preface it? Did you say, hey guys? Leo got fucking drowned out again. I love it. Every it makes me happy every time that happens. He was like, "Wait, wait, can I finish? Can I finish?" And then he got cut off. Brilliant. This person has this ability. Keep that in mind when talking to. Coyote has openly jumped down the throats of people. I mean, I think he admitted that much in this call that he just did it because he his justification personally is that he thought it was fun and funny. That's what he said in this call. So I don't think he's like hiding from that fact. But it's hypocritical of him to, like, well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't necessarily think that. I think you can say that, like, he says, I was just doing it because it's fun. But if you guys are genuinely doing this because you think you're helping, you guys shouldn't be doing it. I think that's what Coyote was trying to say. I've only listened to one separate, so one Senate call, and I was surprised how scared people were of Leo, like he was just another loser on the internet. Um, he just said that would have been nice to know. Oh. Ah, okay, sorry, I missed that. Well, it's hard for me to know who's talking. I don't know these people's voices that well. Aside from Ponder and Leo and Peaches, I suppose. And Harley now, I guess. Rosa could be very low on the spectrum from what I've heard from Rosa. 
She sounds very mentally distraught. Yeah, and it's very easy for a person with autism to mentally and emotionally shut down in these situations. Like, these people don't understand how autism works at all. And autism affects every person differently. That's why it's a spectrum disorder. So these people clearly don't understand, and if they understand, I don't think they care. To them. I'm not even the person who brought this person into this call. So? Okay. It's still your server, Leo. You're still in charge of everything that's said and done here. Okay. I'm answering oh, because well, I'm and did you I, oh did you know about God. it? Can I talk? Oh, poor Leo. Poor Leo can't talk. <laughs> I don't know, Leo. Maybe you shouldn't have had 50 plus people in this Discord call if you wanted to be talking. If you wanted to be heard. Yet another example of Leo wanting to be the only voice in the room. <laughs> Remember when he said, remember when he made the insult of Zay, or Kai Weiss, when he was like, that's just an example of Zay wanting to be the only voice heard in the room, and then here he's complaining about not being heard in a call with 50 plus people all debating with each other? Get over yourself, Leo. Am I allowed to talk? Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I did. And here's the reason why I personally don't see much of an issue outside of maybe the words Coyote used, that full disclosure, I used once. And it's a word I'm trying to get out of my vocabulary, so I apologize immediately. I do not see, and feel free to correct me if you think I'm wrong, I do not see how having the uh, disability, for lack of a better word, of being on the spectrum impacts somebody's moral decisions. No one's arguing that, Leo. That isn't the thing being debated here. This is just him deflecting. He was taken... Like, it's a barbarian server. Yeah, but everyone in it are big sensitive babies. It's a, it's a barbarian server in the sense of they are allowed to shit on other people, but people aren't allowed to shit on them. That's, that's what they mean when it's a barbarian server. It's their freedom to be able to treat anyone else however they want. Yeah, Leo could have corrected everyone who was dogpiling. Yeah, she's, he's trying to absolve himself of responsibility like, well, I didn't pull her into the call. People who are on the spectrum, like me, and me, have so much trouble being in a large call sometimes because, yeah, and like, and also, lots of voices at once, coming from multiple different directions, can be mentally overwhelming. Leo doesn't understand this. A lot of people don't, who aren't on the spectrum don't understand this or how it feels, so I don't blame people for not understanding. But he's sitting here saying that it doesn't matter, but... I noticed something a little bit sneaky that he does. He pivots the conversation from uh, why wasn't this information known to us because we would have treated her better if we knew that she was autistic. He sneakily pivots the discussion from that to well, why are we trying to use her autism as a way to excuse her actions? That's what he's subtly doing here. But that's not the, uh, yeah, okay. that's not what's being discussed right now. So with this, right, because we're trying to get information out of Rosie. We want, we want, we're also the victims in the call, right? Trying to talk to, uh, Rosie as well. That's a blatant contradiction. Here's why. It, like, okay. They want to get, they think the purpose of this call is to get information from the, um, from the suspect, I guess you could call it the information from the accused, but then also at the same time be having the victims in the voice call, along with like 1,500 other people who aren't involved whatsoever. Like, imagine an interrogation where it's just, you know, it's usually just the detectives and the suspect, right? Imagine an interrogation where they're interrogating the suspect and trying to gather information about the crime, while also having the victim in the same room. That would be absolutely ridiculous. And that's essentially what the Senate does with these calls. How can they possibly do information gathering while also trying to give the victim an impact statement? Or, like, have the victim give an impact statement? Those, th those two things contradict each other. It doesn't, like, again, they're, they're trying to have it both ways. If they really wanted to do this correctly, what they could do is have, a, have one call where they're just gathering information and getting the person's perspective and their side of the story and their justifications. And then, once they've, once they've decided 
magically, I guess, that the person is guilty of whatever crime they're being accused of, then they can have their stupid badgering sessions where they bring the victims in to yell at these, these fucking losers, right? Then they can have their fucking cake, right? But they want to do this thing where they mix the two together, which is just... It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't get anything done. It's completely unproductive. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard. We're trying to get information, but we also have the victims in here? That doesn't make any sense. We're trying to get apologies. We want to hear the side of their story. No, you don't. Because you also have the victims in here. Because if they're a disability... If you're, you're automatically going to be biased right off the bat to the victim's side, regardless of anything that the perpetrator has to say for themselves. That's not how these things work. Affects it. And having some a lot of people <sighs> shout at them and yell at them, we're not probably might not get the things we want to hear and to help the victims as well. That's the point. We're not like- Yeah, who are you? Who are you? And why are you suddenly speaking up as if you believe this the entire time? Where were you when all this shit was happening? Where was your disapproval then? Again, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain about this anymore, but I just hate the fact that all of these fucking idiots are coming out of, out of mute to be like, Yeah, guys, I think you really uh, screwed the pooch on this one. I think you guys were taking it too far when all of them were complicit. Even Ponder, to a degree, was also complicit in this. Like, the moral thing, I get that. Your disability does not affect your horrible deeds. That's not what we're trying to say. We're trying to, we're trying to help the victims get closure to get as much information out of Rosie. This isn't it can helping. Also affect your understanding of the uh, world and and, and, the any, and even that then things have and your on ability it. To empathize. Uh, and and even really then, I don't really think it reflects really well on time, anyone please. in here when we have a, a person. Ah, uh, you heard that? Leo, sounding exhausted, just said, "We're running out of time, please." I think that's what he said. He knows he's losing this argument real fast, and all of a sudden, there's a time limit on this. All of a sudden, there's a time limit on this confrontation, when Leo feels like he's in a losing battle. You hear how, like, defeated he sounds? It's gratifying, all to say the least. ...person on the spectrum, and then there's a bunch of people calling them retarded. It, Hold on. Like, it doesn't look good, right? I, look, look, real quick. I understand that that does not look good. I was not aware they're on the spectrum. I probably should have asked, and I probably would have conducted- No, I mean, why would you just assume that someone's on the spectrum? It should have been Leo's responsibility to inform people of that. ...myself differently in that respect. But he withheld that information. That information. So I think I, this should have been yeah. prefaced if, if some- But also, whether or not- I'm just gonna say this, whether or not they're autistic, I don't think it should change- how kind you are to somebody, I don't think that should affect it whatsoever. I think you should be judging people purely based on their actions. If this is how they act, just to anybody in general, I don't think whether or not she has a disability would truly change that. I don't think so. They're saying it after the fact, but honestly, I don't think I believe them when they say, oh, we would have treated her differently if we knew that. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's true at all. I think the victim was even crying in private in call shortly after this. Yeah, no, she was crying, like, in the call. And they, and they weaponized her crying. And this is pretty insidious. They weaponized her crying to further attack Rosa. Which is pretty gross, in hindsight. When you knew about it, it should have been... Uh, and we know how people talk to other people in these chats, right? It should have been... <laughs> Uh, prefaced to everybody. It should have been knowledge to everybody here. Personally, I don't think mental disability yeah. should affect somebody's on, decision on if if it's, if it's, if someone's preying on a it child. It should affect how you talk. Pyro, to hold on, Pyro. Okay. I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, I won't call somebody who actually suffers from mental disability. I don't think it should affect how you talk to them. I think it can affect your perspective or your or your understanding of a situation. Again, they're kind of just debating here, oh, well, we should have masked our aggression better if we knew that she was autistic. Like, get the fuck out of here. In hindsight, like, now that I'm thinking about it more, it's still fucking selfish and self-serving. Disabilities retarded as an insult. I only do that to people who don't have fucking disabilities, just as a general rule. And some people, <laughs> yeah. might, think that's, some people might find that ridiculous, but that's just the way that I view things. Again, where it's just... It... Wait, no, I, can I, uh, I need... Yeah, could I... Um, it, it, the main I thing I just want to yeah. touch on is that 
no, the actions are not excusable, but you have to treat people yeah, you're differently right, yeah, sure. depending on, you know, how they perceive the world and how they can't help but perceive the world because of their disability. So even if their actions are wrong... I mean, hey, I could sit here and say that Leo did that on purpose. I think I did, I did, I think I did jump to the conclusion hastily that Leo might, might have withheld that information on purpose in order to make sure that people were harder on her. I don't, I, I take that back. I don't think so. I, I think it really is just because Leo is stupid and doesn't think three steps ahead of himself most of the time. If he thinks he, he can do something to get a leg up on somebody, he will do it. Even if it makes him look stupid in the long run. Because he doesn't have this long-term thinking. I don't think he does. And they're inexcusable and they're, they're mental. So, I'm not going to attribute malice to something that can be... A, like that can be explained through stupidity or incompetence although there is something you know i want to say after this or want to showcase after this for the 30 people that are here jesus christ um i'll have to find it in the google drive or i could just go to seraphina's uh channel because it's uploaded there but uh, if you want justice for the victims, go for the server owner, not Rosa. Well, again, like I said, it feels like Rosa was just the easiest target they could get their hands on at this moment, and they need somebody for their blood sacrifice. Well, disability is not an excuse. That also means that you need to recognize that these people have these uh, disabilities, and you need to change the way you- Blood, could you do me a favor and give me a direct Google Drive to the Dreadful Jacks call? You speak to them- to get yourself to that would get be your great. point through. That way I don't have to okay. go digging for it. Yeah. That, that's what uh, I'm trying to get to. I, that said, I, I just I, want to touch... Okay, go ahead. Uh, sorry. Uh, I just wanted to clarify. Um, uh, No one thinks that I was trying to make... Do you hear all of Leo's moping sighs and the grumbling he's doing in the background because nobody's listening to him? Poor baby. The rosy call about myself, do they? I mean, does that matter? Thanks, Vlad. I mean, if anything, I made it more about you by bringing the point back that to the one that I was making, which is that I don't think it's acceptable that uh, she was harassing you over your opinion on The Last yeah. Jedi. I think well, that's... Here's the, the thing. I think I made it more about you than anyone else. Um, yeah, that's about well, it. here's the thing. I, I didn't want to make it all about me because I know that Endo is the one suffering right now as a result of her actions. Uh, but the point I wanted to make was that this all started with her trying to grandstand on Twitter because she wanted to take down a horrible YouTuber, which was me. Uh, this was all this all started because she was trying to act like she was better than me, and then she turned out to be just this horrible. It really sounds like you're making it about yourself, dude. Horrible person. And when I was you can't just lampshade it and then suddenly it's not what you think it's not what you say it is trying to explain about all the stuff that I've been through as a result of this subculture on the internet that's been harassing What's the high me for council? years. I was trying to get the point across and how this has been affecting me. Uh, but I, I know I wasn't trying to take anything away from Endo. She's the one who needs to be comforted right now because she's going through so much worse. Yeah, and this argument isn't making her feel any better, just so you know, guys. Like, she's freaking out right now. Oh, It's almost like you shouldn't... Like... Oh, guys, us, the, Ponder calling us out for our behavior is actually hurting the victim. So, please don't call us out on our behavior. Oh yeah, that's what's doing them damage, not these four-hour badgering sessions. No, 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 it's you being called out for your shitty behavior, and not the shitty behavior itself. Oh, a Kumu server. Oh, I see. No. Saying that no, it's her fault that this is happening. So no, 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 hold on, not, hold on. Not, stop, not. stop. Bring her into a separate call. That way you can get them calmed down. Well, None of this like is their she fault. Is. She's, she's just reading the chat. You know the victims have autonomy, Leo. They don't have to bring her into another call. You can ask her if she wants to go into another uh, another call. You know that, right, Leo? That the victims are autonomous human beings who can make their own choices. Or are they really just nothing but props for you to make yourself feel good about yourself? All right. yeah, like then, then, you need, then you need to get your friend away from the chat and you need to focus on something else. This is my server. I will handle this. Oh, really? Oh, He's trying to put on the tough gloves again, huh? Really trying to take control of the situation again after Ponder gave him a good beatdown. This is my server. 
I will take control. But also, I'm not responsible for this, guys. I'm not the one who pulled uh, Rosa into this call, so I'm not responsible for this, but this is my server, and I will handle it. Thing is, put the, she put was the blame on me just... for being a jackass. It's easier to do that. No, 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 yeah. uh, she, was just, about it. she was just in the regular table, or I was, and I was trying to help her feel better, like trying to raise her confidence. But uh, I'm not a uh, oh, qualified therapist, so there's only so much that I can do. That, that, that's not even the point. Zaid, so let me go ahead. Okay, and that start is Zaid. Now, since apparently everybody wants to. Well, Leo, you shouldn't have fifty plus people in the call if you didn't want them all to be talking. Yet another example of Leo wanting to be the only voice in the room. Concerning this, so a few things here, specifically to Harley, and that was Scritus, I think. The other person Hello. in the call talking. Okay. Should we ch recheck our bingo? We haven't I looked at our bingo her? in a while. Because surprisingly, Leo hasn't been talking a whole lot. Oh, they definitely did the you didn't even apologize. Yeah, we got that. I don't think he mentioned anything about toy collecting. I don't think. He mentioned Star Wars quite a lot for some reason, but... Okay, we're caught up. We, I su I'm surprised we don't have a bingo yet. <laughs> we have so many potential bingos. ...here very often, but I want to explain something about how this room works. If you take issue with what somebody is doing, voice it. It should not have taken Ponder coming in here and being louder to get my attention to let me know that you two also don't have an issue, have an issue with this. If you I only tuned into the conversation up. because I, uh, I was listening for a little bit and it kept getting a I lot worse as the call went on. Also, in instances where there's a huge call like this, people may feel less inclined to point out an, a contradictory opinion because of social pressures. Right, yeah. And I also forward. didn't want to chime in on something I didn't really okay. know the full context of either. Okay. Well, going forward, if that happens again, and you're worried about speaking out because of XYZ, my DMs are open. And I will give you a voice to speak, and if I have to shut everybody else up, I will. Mm, I press X to doubt on that, but to be fair, I'm not an ex-Senate person whatsoever, so I don't know. This is a server where you can beef with people if you want to, and you can talk it out. You don't do cloak and dagger here, and if you're worried Are about you sure? someone out there, don't be. The worst you might get is some people will disagree with you, for the most part. No, I, I feel like the worst I might get is is being put on the same side as the people that are getting berated. That's the yeah. that's, that's my thing, yeah. right? Like if I come out and say, "Hey guys, let's let's tone it down a little bit," I'm afraid that you know it's like, "Oh, you're defending this," which from what I've heard happens pretty often in the Senate. Person, no. Yeah, yeah. About, yeah it's, it's, context, I feel right? like I feel like in a community like this where ever, where like these calls are very. Hostile, I feel like if someone speaks out and tries to use their voice to say the opposite, it's very easy to put them in the same bucket as the people you're already mad at. And if I was someone walking in here and didn't know you, Lyo, I would see someone saying, I'm going to call your mother and you're fat and you're a And let's not forget, Leo said that if, that if he had a child and that child made the same mistake that Rosa did, he would literally murder his child and hide the body. Those are his words. That's what he said. So just keep in mind, this is the same guy that said that. Hard and I'd go, I don't really want that to happen. For the people who so haven't why, heard it why yet. Why would I want to tune in and join the discussion, right? Can even yeah, see but you do know that me. when people have been talking, where where they're they're um reverting our arguments to oh so it's mean to be oh so it's bad to be mean to a pedo enabler when the argument I'm sorry, is what yeah if you look at the chat people have been saying or been boiling down our counter argument to oh so they're saying it's bad to be mean to a pedo enabler when yeah and i see, no actually you know what i'm pretty sure it was peaches or somebody else that she reblogged or that leo reblogged somewhere i can't remember that made this exact same argument and one of them reblogged it, or they said it themselves, I don't remember. This exact same thing. Um, you want us to be nice to predators? Like, the exact same thing, just very recently. And, like, no, you can be mean to a pedo <sighs> enabler, but if you actively want to change their opinion, the way that this call was going was not productive in the slightest. Mm. They're talking about me. Uh, okay, well, well, then I recommend you- 
Can we admit that Leo saying that about his own hypothetical kid is worse than anything I've ever said? Uh, to be fair, I can't remember everything you've ever said. I'm pretty sure you said that, um... God, what did you say? I mean, you've said a lot of things, but... That is definitely one of the most insane things I've ever heard someone say with a straight face and think that they're in the right. That is absolutely wild. You call those people out, frankly. That's your prerogative. I'm not currently looking at the chat. I've actually been assembling a model kit while I've been in this call, so I apologize. Oh, yeah, there's the toy mention. Guys, we have a bingo. We have a bingo. Woo! <laughs> we have a bingo, finally. I collect toys, by the way. Yep. Finally, I was worried that we wouldn't get a bingo. It's a little late in the call to start a new one. It, we only have a couple minutes left, so I'm just gonna let it play out, but... Guys, if you want your own... We're still proto... This is the prototype of the Leo bingo card, but we're working on it. Whoop whoop! Guys. Whoop whoop! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna point out real quick, if anyone in the chat is actually doing that, you're kind of pulling an Anthony right now where it's like, okay, so what you're saying is... <laughs> well, no, you remember the jalapeno thing, right? The, the Anthony jalapeno thing. That's literally what... The, that is the jalapeno incident right there. Unironically is the keyword. I have never in my life ever even considered the thought of killing my child. I can't think of anything worse. Maybe I'm biased. Yeah. I think anyone who's actually a parent would hard disagree with that, because that is... That is virtue signaling to an insane degree. We need a triple? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll keep playing for the triple, okay. Um... What else do we need? We need the Bible man. He hasn't mentioned uh, the Bible yet, unfortunately. He hasn't complained about the ge their generation. He hasn't... As far as I know, he hasn't roast them. I mean, these could these things could have happened earlier in the call, but again, we're just looking at the past hour or the last hour. Um, he's not asked a well thought out question. Hmm, that's uncharacteristic for Leo. Um, he hasn't declared victory, and he kind of can't declare victory at this point because Ponder really put him in his place. <laughs> but there's still time there's still a couple My minutes left to it has been like in the okay in the grand scheme of it i'm, I'm gonna say preemptively uh i i'm on the side of i'm not a big fan of the slurs being used i've i've said that before and i want oh, the record to reflect that i agree with that point wholeheartedly i think okay, that's I'm gonna right now though the, in uh, as far as the record is concerned coyote lovely was the one who said retarded he said it 12 times he regrets it because it turns out the person turned out to be on the spectrum he I did not know that time we, there you go i don't think we should i don't think we should say it derogatorily <laughs> at all at any point but you're, i'm not your mom someone's well, fucking dying right now from all yeah, this whatever. garbage the point is my issue, my issue lies uh, pretty squarely in. Is Peach just even I, in the call at all? I don't think she's left, but I'm, they're not on screen right now, so I don't know. Understand the, the I haven't been paying attention the to that. That's trying to be made here. The thing that we, the thing that I think is getting lost, is your. So you're telling us that the ad hom and that the insults. I, I also agree with, I think, calling her families too far. I think that the insults is a ridiculous place to draw the line. No, I think and you that, can insult someone. Like, no, I think you, you can call someone idiotic, or I think you can call someone you fucking illogical or brain. Can, I, can you, can you can please let Eaton finish? Can I finish my thought? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I, think, I think the insults... Uh, didn't Heaton and that Dulu person get into it? I know Heaton was talking in this call. Um, I don't, I don't, I've never heard Dulu though. Though I don't know what Dulu sounds like without a filter on. Like, is where we're drawing the line, the ad hom, I think is ridiculous because in a normal situation where this is a normal kind of debate, I would agree with you 100%. I would, I'd be like, yeah, that's too far. That's this, that, and the other. This is, this is not that like very transparently this is a person all right i found sorry i was looking for the tweet right that he replied to um someone named neon caffeine on twitter said if you watch a video about a predator and your biggest takeaway is person who made video was mean to predator frowny face i'm gonna be making some assumptions about you 
Leo replies with this with, welcome to my life. So, he's not against this line of thinking, that's for sure. ...who openly faked a panic attack while being confronted about actively letting... OMG, when, remember when Leo called me misogynistic? I love how well that aged. Yeah. No, like, Heaton was dismissing someone's trauma because they liked Phagos back in the day. Oof. Uh, pedophiles I wouldn't know about that. I don't know much about the Phagos stuff. And pretended to cry on livestream about it. Like, I don't... This this is the thing... I, I don't know what this I'm, person is yapping I'm about. I'm gonna have, apparently, one of the hot takes of the room. And Are say, you? Listen, there is a point where, yes, a calm conversation can be had... I have no problem with character assassination of someone who actively downplayed the What is this fucking voice that she's doing? Grooming of children? She's putting on this weird voice, but that- no, that's not a hot take in the room, honey. That's literally the hive mind of what you all think. That's how you morally justify this entire server. I don't think that's a hot take. And I think the idea that saying things that are incredibly mean to them, like calling them a whore and stupid, is, I think the I think the fact that that's where the line's being drawn is insane. Want to draw? You need to tell me what I should put on the bingo sheet. Um. Yes, it filtered through. What the bingo sheet? Why is YouTube filtering out my messages? It's not even bad. What, the bingo thing? Leo complained at Kaz for Kaz selling, telling Sapho, Sapho to self-delete. But remember, Leo is also the person that told a 15-year-old... No, not a 15-year-old. He is also the person that told a 13-year-old to remove themselves from the census. Let's not forget that. And then, in his video about Kai Weiss, he tries to make it out like he didn't say that to a 13-year-old. He said that to a predator slash harasser. And that's why it was justified when he totally lied about it. Let's just keep these things in mind. Draw a line there. It's that I feel like the constant bu like bullying, the insulting, and the fact that this call is so large and there were so many people who were just chiming in to continue at like well at this point i kind of just assume all these people are friends with each other like attack and throw insults like yes i wasn't around for the beginning of the conversation i acknowledge that uh rosa allegedly faked a panic attack faked crying and that's a problem uh i understand that she may have been doing that because she was stressed about the situation and this was her excuse to try and get out of it i can't obviously say it's just an, a, an assumption However, I still don't think that the nature of the call and the excessive insult is actively going to change her mind. And oh, okay, so that's where it ends. Sorry. The rest of it got cut off, unfortunately. A 13... Yeah, unless he's trying to say that the 13-year-old was a predator and harasser. Yes, you need to mention... I. Yeah, I've been mentioning this whole time, North. You haven't been listening. <laughs> we'll get around to it later. Don't worry. I'll DM you. But, now that I'm here at the end of this call, I want to really- because I, I just want to give everybody a nice, friendly reminder. And we'll just run through this again, okay? Because I feel like this doesn't get talked about enough, and it's important. Despite the fact that this happened in Queen Serafina's server, I feel like it still needs to be addressed. Alright, so this is on Queen Serafina's YouTube channel, so obviously they're pretty proud of this one. Um... Context. I tried to solve a stupid dispute between two 15-year-olds, Nora and Jax, Drax, uh, Jax being the dreadful Jax guy I mentioned, because they were being stupid. Not great context, let's be honest. Leo then joined in the call, and then the call took a fun turn. Also, most of this call, my mic wasn't picked up by OBS. Enjoy my bouncing PNG. Okay. Um, I thought Leo was a cool guy, but I don't know. Well... I won't say anything, but I'm wondering what you think about this. So what, when did this happen? This only happened a year ago. Oh, actually almost two years ago. Um, but then, well, we'll get to it. One thing at a time. No, it happened in the Senate. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because why are two 15-year-olds in the Senate, if that's true? 
I assume that this was on Queen, this was in Queen Seraphina's Discord because um you know, it this is she put it on her channel. But anyway, what the actual context is here and uh Vlad will correct me if I get something wrong, but Nora and Jax, the two 15-year-olds, were getting into an argument with each other because one I assume Jax sent Nora a drawing of an MS Paint, uh, a, a, a dick that was drawn in MS Paint. I've seen the picture, and it's literally just the, the lamest MS Paint drawing of a dick you could possibly make. And that's what this entire argument was about. They pulled these two 15-year-olds into a call so they could duke it out with each other, so that they could farm it for content. And then Leo jumps into it. Sarah used to own this. Also, hello to all the new people talking. I'm sorry I'm having such an issue uh, holding up with... Jace, we have like 30 people right now. I'm losing my gourd. Sarah used to own the Senate, and the Senate used to allow minors with role restrictions. I mean, that makes... I, I was contemplating doing that for my server, but I decided to just say fuck it and make it 18+. plus. Well, this video was uploaded on the on February 22nd, 2022, so I'll assume that this happened around the same time as that, or maybe a little bit before it, unless they say otherwise. But that's the context of the situation when Leo jumps into this call. And by the way, this is not Leo's problem. He he involved himself in this situation. Just make sure to remember that. It was a Senate call, it says so. Oh yeah, you're right! God, I'm stupid. I can't read. Most calls happen in the Senate due to most ex-commentators being in it. Oh, I see. Ripperoni. Oh, fucking, you, you come to my house, I'll put a bully. We don't, we don't need the preview. We'll just get right to the meat. But Jesus fucking Christ, man. People kept going after me. And just fucking, yo, your friend Russell boy, and you were fucking... Little retarded group, man. Holy shit, they are fucking annoying. If we're gonna go by your logic here, they're not my responsibility. Yeah, 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 I'm going Hi. by your logic. They're your responsibility. <laughs> what? What the fuck was that? Wait, go back. Logic here, they're not my responsibility. Yeah, 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 I'm going Hi. by your logic. <laughs> in the middle of these two teens fighting, Leo jumps in and goes, Hi. Like, everyone was supposed to shut up. Like, everybody shut the fuck up. Leo Convoy's here. Everyone needs to shut up and listen to everything he has to say. Logic, they're your responsibility, fucktard. <laughs> Jax, you know that Nora can't control everybody, right? And look, 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 look. Hi. Yeah, Nora, Nora, you Hi. know fucking funny? Leo hates it when he's ignored. I think that is pretty apparent. He hates it when people don't listen to any, like, when, 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 when I'm getting caught up in my words. Sorry, I'm autistic. When people don't listen to what he has to say, he gets really offended. You can tell. I mean, I do too, but, you know. I'm not the one who's threatening minors. They do also still allow minors for calls, only since people entering the server can see the guest call channel. The minors are usually kicked out after the call. Yeah, I've heard that be said before. You want to know something super fucking funny, man? You have no balls to Jack, shit, Jack, shut up! Who the fuck's Lyo? Yeah, so... Dreadful, I'm going to be pausing a lot, because I need you guys to understand exactly what's going on step by step. So, he jumps into this call between other people and tells the people in the call to shut up simply because he's present now. And Dreadful Jack says, Lyo, who the fuck's Lyo? Because he doesn't know who Leo is. Jack, how old are you? I'm Lyo, and how old are you? Fifteen, man. Well, you think I'm scared of you? Oh, you don't no, know. But you probably you don't know yet. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep pausing it so we can break this down, because I don't want anything to get lost on you guys. He says, Hi, I'm Lyo. How old are you? Dreadful Jack says, Fifteen. Fifteen, who are you? Or no. No, he says, Fifteen, what, you think I'm scared of you? And Leo says, No, but you should be. Uh, I should be. Give me a few reasons. Well, number one, I can figure out how- or I can figure out very quickly where a kid lives by their photo. And I'm pretty sure you probably got one running around. So, that's his answer to why a minor should be scared of him. Because he can figure out, allegedly to him, he can figure out where a kid lives simply by looking at their photo. And look, can you send this to me? Well, it's on YouTube. You know, I'll send it to you real quick. Easy peasy. 
Like, this is on one of their channels. Like, this is something that they are proud of. This is something that they thought they were justified to do. Uh, but anyway. Oh, yeah, you come to my house. I live in a gang neighborhood and I have guns, so... No, I'm if not one of those. Hey, hey, retard. Oh, hey, come hey, here, retard, one time. Yep, you hear that? He says, hey, hey, retard. Hey, F-slur. Fucking pussy. I'm a retard, my name's very typical 15 year old troll behavior i'm not surprised but i mean considering that leo is the one who instigated this confrontation he didn't have to do that by the way he could have just come in and sat quietly until there was a silent until there was a quiet moment in the discussion where he could put his two cents in and maybe ask what's going on but no he immediately comes in, tries to take control of the entire situation because he's the big guy who has to be in control of everything, and he's the one that instigates this. Just keep that in mind. It's literally fatherless activity. Your daddy ain't at home, is he? Oh yeah, I have milk in my fridge actually, so unlike you. Look, you I understand out, your dad you left yourself? you at a young age and no one loves you, man. And look, I know you're really? worth nothing compared to nothing. Me. Projection. Oh yeah. Projection <laughs> you're pro son, you're projecting. You're projecting, and you're very bad at it. What are you so talking about? Down, Leo? Calm down, and we can talk. Okay. Uh, Asking him to calm down after you said that you could figure out where he lives by looking at a photo, and that he should be scared of you. Uh huh. Oh, he's involved in the situation. You literally threatened me. Look, I'm involved your... because I choose to be. You can sit there oh, and you fucking, can you, you come to my house, I'll put a bullet in your skull. Just say. You're not gonna right. put anything in anywhere. Your airsoft guns don't scare me, son. Sit down and be quiet. I actually have guns fucked hard. I'm not worried about some dumb 15-year-old making threats about firearms. If I want to ruin your life, I'll just call your school and tell them you made the threat and you won't get anywhere in life. You want to play this game? We can play that game. Oh, damn. Why are you threatening to ruin a 15-year-old's life? You. Fucking hold loser on, hold over on, here. Hold on. I can hear hey, how is your mom's I fucking basement, you. man? I wouldn't know. I live in Texas. We don't have basements here. <laughs> oh, they have a snow yeah. that cuts out We're going to miss. I know that, Nora. Nora, I think you need to stay out of this and try and talk to this kid, okay? This is their call, Leo. This is their call. This is their dispute. And now he comes in here and makes it about himself. Primarily about himself. Sit down Sorry. and be quiet yourself. I don't need backup from some 15-year-old. Okay, son. Let's see Look if we can get you right here. Right Look, I'm, I'm going to call you son all I don't, the retarded... I don't, I don't get the retarded genes from you, man, right? Look, no, you I got understand the you commit incest. No, no, no. But I'm not you your incest son, right? Genes. You got the retarded genes from your dad who ran out on you. That's why you're projecting it onto me. You're not clever, you're not smart, you're 15, you don't know what's going on my in life. So dad is literally at my fucking house, man. Hey, hey get your dad on the mic. Get, cool, get, go get, get him. I... <laughs> okay, what about your mom's attic? Dad's dead fucked hard. He can't I'm even 36. talk. I have, I have not lived with my old man in a long time, Scooter. Sorry. You're a 36 year old fucking insulting a. Finding a 15 year old? Holy yes, shit, I you are sad. You're dumb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's Literally admits that he is indeed threatening a 15-year-old, and his justification for it is because the kid is dumb. No, face you are. You want me to come to your house? Oh, oh. Pay attention to this. I know it's hard to hear over his squealing, but... Here Leo says, you want me to come to your house? Okay, then that's what we're gonna do. Dead serious. Oh, you want me to come to your house? Oh, oh, Okay, cool. I'm so and that's what we're gonna do. Are you on? No, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I will have a shotgun hooked up to your fucking head. You really want that? I will no, you, pull your brains you out. Don't I'm know. Not... Dude, I live in a gang neighborhood. I've been in gangs. I've shot guns. Yes, I know. You, I know you think you're hard. I know you think you're hard because you live in mommy's house and you've never done anything with your life. But I'm not scared of you. You're a stupid little boy. You don't even know what I look like. Dude, like, oh no, house. I want you. I want you to come to my fucking house. Come to my house. Come to my house. I dare you. I, want, I would love to put you six feet under. I would love to put you six feet under. No, you wouldn't. God, this call is fucking uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Yep. Mhm. Mm you oh, yes, never been in a would. fist fight, much less shot. Okay, oh, what cool. the How fuck? Do you know? I've been shot at. Why do you think a point for gang is no, you fucked haven't. hard? No, you haven't. You haven't been shot at because if you were shot at and you were this hard, you wouldn't be getting into online arguments with another retard teenager on the internet. Oh, but Leo, what are you doing right now? 
shot at and you were this hard, you wouldn't be getting into online arguments with another retard teenager on the internet. If you were this hard, you wouldn't be getting into online arguments with other teenagers on the internet. But Leo, Leo, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, Leo. That's what you're doing right fucking now, you idiot. Good. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, the kid's cringe, but he's a kid. Like, he's a troll kid but, that plays, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Like, it's nothing new. But Leo took such an offense that this kid didn't bow down in reverence the moment he arrived in the Discord. In the Discord call. He immediately starts threatening to ruin this kid's life by erroneously saying that he threatened to shoot up a school, which is not true. Like, let me just remind you. Like, he says... I can figure out where a kid lives by their photo. And Jack says to that, well, if you come to my house, I'll put a bullet in your skull. He's saying that he would defend himself because he has guns. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. It's just a kid being tough on the internet. But Leo decides to take that and say that he threatened to shoot up a school, which is not true from what I've heard in this conversation. <laughs> that's why I duck. Actually, if Leo was this hard, he actually would because he's hard. See what I- that's a really bad joke. Come over here and show me, little bitch! Baby rage. Oh, little baby rage! You're the one fucking okay, showing on. me a you picture! Know, Shut the fuck up! Yeah. Little baby rage! You're little baby rage! You're I dirty never said I was gonna sex and you're you showing- I'm glad Ponder was calling out his nonsense. Yeah, but she still hangs out with him and follows him on Twitter, so... I have no idea. Maybe she thinks that he doesn't do this shit anymore? I know, maybe he doesn't. But I feel like he should still address this properly and not keep lying. Like, if he was actually remorseful for his actions and the things that he said and did back then, he wouldn't be lying about it now, like he's doing. I got a 15-year-old! This is sad! Oh my god! This is sad, man! Look, how is mom's basement smell? How is mom's- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, did you know playing Minecraft does not add interest to your car? I have them here! I know, I know you don't pay attention, but I already told you we don't have basements here, boy. Try to pay attention. Oh, I know oh, all right. your mom's house, son. What about my mom's house? Have you been there? No, you probably live in there. I've already fucked your mom. I've seen uh, you, so. Man, your if you can't pussy find tastes good. Hair, that's pretty sad. So you go after wrinkly old women, man. You must not have any kids your age to get around with, do you? No, 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 man, man, man. She pressed on to me, man. She was like, "Hey, honey, yeah, I'm you sure want she cookies? did. I'm sure that I'm all like the puzzle of her did that. Jesus I'm sure, Christ, and I'm sure man. in your." Yep, he lied about it in his reply to Zay. Yep, that's exactly what I said earlier. You're you really hilarious. Kidding. You're showing a 50 year You're really man. hard. Shut, shut the fuck up. Shut, when did I say I was coming to your house? Shut the fuck up. Oh, really? Le now Leo's trying to double back and say, When did I ever say I was going to come to your house? When did I ever say I was going to come to your house? Not even five minutes ago, Leo. Not even like three minutes ago, you said, Oh, you want me to come to your house? Okay, then that's what we're gonna do. Dead serious. And now he's sitting here trying to be like, when did I ever say I was gonna come to your house? Wait, 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 wait. Shut the fuck here, up. Shut, shut, shut. <laughs> okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Oh. And then when Leo can't get, when he can't get the upper hand on this kid in the argument that he instigated, he server mutes the kid. Because, again, yet another example of Leo wanting to be the only voice in the room. Hold on, hold on. Never said I was going to show up at your house. Yes, you did. I could. Could also send the cops over there. That's also a threat. Sir, because I can guarantee you Sarah's recording this call right now. But you're dumb, because you're 15, and you don't think three-dimensionally. So you run your mouth off saying all sorts of stupid crap online because you don't think it's ever going to come back to bite you. I guarantee yeah, he's you, fif he's 15. all I have to do is toss your social medias into another room, and they'll have your name and address in an hour. And I'm not bluffing, not joking. I've done this before. I know. So hold on, let me let me uh, let me run that back real quick because I want to listen closely to what he's saying here. It's been a while since I've listened to this call fully. I guarantee you, all I have to do is. Talk it's the most insidious thing he's ever done, in my opinion. Toss your social medias into another room, and they'll have your name and address in an hour. And I'm not bluffing. God damn it! Toss hold your on. social medias into another room. I'm back to bite you. I guarantee you. All I have to do is toss your social medias into another room, and they'll have your name and address in an hour. So he says there, all I have to do is toss your social medias into another room, meaning another another room in the Discord server, and they'll have... Sorry, they'll, they'll have what again? Sorry? All I have to do is toss your social medias into another room, and they'll have your name and address in an hour. 
and they'll have your name and address in an hour. By the way, they, just being this entire Senate Discord, they, being the entire server, will have your name and address. And I ask, Leo, how do you know that if they were to get his name and address, they wouldn't just dox that information to other people publicly? So there was the risk of his information being doxed, but he refuses to recognize that. This might explain why he went from looking into the FCK to suddenly kicking me out and being buddy-buddy with them. They lied and fucked with me for a year when I was 16. I like Lyo, but damn. Nah. He, I think he likes it. I think he enjoys it when kids are afraid of him, especially kids. I think he gets a real kick out of it. If this is any, like... If this is anything to go off of. Leo did, in fact, call the kids school. And that's something I want to actually mention, uh, bring up again later. And I'm not bluffing, not joking. I've done this before. I know that you're trying to be tough because you don't like being yelled at because you have an absentee father. That's why you're scared to get him on the phone right now because he's not at home. He did. You're not fooling anybody. So I'm going to go ahead and make this clear. You two are both teenagers. And... Earlier last year, in a call with somebody, he brings up the situation and lies about the situation. He lies about why he called the school. You're, you're both stupid. You both need to knock it off. Go your separate ways. Find other things to do with your miserable lives. Stop wasting it online, trying to play tough guy on the internet to impress adults. Okay? Can you both do that for me? Are you both capable? I doubt Leo even knows why they're in here having this argument in the first place. Like, again, this is all over an MS Paint dick drawing one teenager sent to the other. Look that. Can you, can you get off mom's tit and do that for five seconds? I want you to come. Do it. Do it. Okay, hold no, on. I want, I want him to come. I want him to come. I want, I want to yeah. put him in the ER. Okay, Jack. Alright, alright, bet, bet, man. No, oh, fuck, I'm gonna you? point you in the ER, man. I'm gonna point you in the fucking ER. I'll fizz you in the Jack, fucking hospital and laugh at your fucking face. You talk too much face. to be serious. Well, yeah, I talk How too tall much. Are you? How tall are you? Six foot one, six foot one. What How is this tall discussion, are you? man? Six, six foot one. Mm, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. I wouldn't even call this fun. I would not call this fun, like he's trying to ruin the fun of kids. This isn't fun. Alright, what happened is that this. Or what did what did Vlad say earlier? Oh god, it was up here a little bit. The 15-year-old that received the Emma's paint image is the one that contacted Serafina. Yeah, and also why do 15-year-olds have Senate members on speed dial if it's an 18 plus server? That's kind of odd. It's almost like they're encouraging kids to get involved in this kind of stuff constantly. But uh so it's, again, they pulled these two kids in here to duke this out. This totally unnecessary drama. Uh, and I keep calling, I keep saying it's similar to an illegal dog fight. Like, straight up. Like, they're just getting two teenagers in here to duke it out for their own amusement. And content. And juice it for content. Clearly, with this being uploaded on YouTube. This only has 29,000 views or so. Like... Or almost 30,000. Nobody, nobody has really seen this. And nobody mentions it. Nobody talks about this at all. I worked out recently, so... Yeah, around there. You weigh 130 and you think you're a threat? I never said oh. I was going to show up at your house. And even if I did, you what did. do I look like? If you did show up to my house and you went on my front door... I never and... said I would... You, you did, Leo. You fucking fifth year. You threw me to my house. Are you a fucking retard? Are you a Arthur? 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 Shut the fuck up, Leo, man. All right, I want you to say it to my fucking face. Say it to my fucking face, Leo. to my fucking face. Look, I will put you in the ER, man. You will really regret coming to my neighborhood. Look, you haven't grown up. The only thing you're gonna put in the ER is your feet. You have a goofy little stunt on your bike, and you're gonna fall over and scrape your knee. Come on, you're not impressing anybody. I never said I'd show up. Remember, the Senate is also watching Leo Convoy in that has been hotel review. Well, apparently they have spies in my Discord, allegedly. Um, which is funny, because they have spies everywhere, and yet accuses everyone else of spying on them. Um, my goodness, I know, right? Like, at most, you could just say to these people that this drama is irrelevant, tell them to 
figure it out and just kick him. Like, that's it. That's all you needed. This is nothing. They're the ones that escalated this way, way, way out of proportion. Figure Especially Leo. House. I said, call your school and tell them you're making. Um, also, join my Discord. It's in the description. Uh, there's not a lot of cool stuff going on there, but, you know, if you like gossip and drama, I guess. Threats in your life. It's a different matter altogether. And the fact that Spies you're not are fun. <laughs> enough tells me I know exactly what you're like. You don't know a thing about what I look like. You couldn't tell Dick if I showed up at your house. You're oh not my thinking. God. Use your brain. I'm your retarded eyes to carry cures. You show up to my fucking house. I have dog rest when I open the door. I'm <laughs> not going to see you as a fucking Son, are, are you, you dumb? Calm down and follow the line of logic. If I wanted to go to your house, yelling at come on, calm down, calm down, boy, calm down and pay attention. I'm not mad. You're just hilarious. And now Leo's trying to take the high road, like, calm down. Let's talk about this like adults. When he's the one who came in here and literally yelled at the top of his lungs, Jack, shut up. Like, come on, you can't take the high road here, Leo. You started this. Like, it's hilarious watching you spur out because you're not used to being called on your nonsense. So calm down. That's calm ironic. Down. The fuck are you? Wait, wait, wait. If called I called on my nonsense. If you're a 36 year old Leo, you're a 15 year old. Holy and shit, you're a 15 -year -old man. No wonder he doesn't have any kids. Yeah. Especially because he said himself that he would uh, murder his child for making dumb mistakes on the internet. I sent you what Leo claimed his reasons for calling the school was in a private call. Yeah, I wanted to cover that next, so Little thanks. Boy, running his mouth on the internet at a 36-year-old because you got triggered. Well, I'm not fucking triggered. You're just hilarious. Yeah, you are. You literally were screaming. Oh, You're yeah, daddy, you yeah. idiot. Uh, Ew, gross. Yay. Yeah, that's, that's how you get a fucking pedophile. If the cops did show up at his school, he would have been arrested or worse. Uh, possibly. I mean, we could we could debate about the hypotheticals or theoretics about it, but thank God it didn't actually happen. All that happened, really, is that his school was called, and the school kind of just... They went to Jax about it, and they were like, hey, is this true? And he showed them this video, and they said, oh, okay, so this is just a weird person on the internet. Okay, and they dismissed it. That's what happened. Years. And um, Vlad what, can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my memory. That's my recollection of what uh, Jack said. What world are you going on about, boy? What are you going on about, Daddy? Is this look, because man, your dad's I'm just not around? Internet... Look, 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 Leo, calm the fuck down to dial it down. I'm an internet troll. You don't have to take all your living room. Uh, no I kind of said that you're 36. You Jax, you're the one who's screaming are you and call me. Yeah, I'm screaming. Wow, oh, my this guy is dumb. It's sad to hear Bob I'm not actually retarded. serious. If I was serious, you wouldn't have heard something way different. Him just calling Jax a retard again. Different. Oh. But no, if you actually did no, come you to the house, have, I would shoot you. Were, if you were serious, you would have made some stupid retarded video about it. That's what you would have done. Another you time. Done all about it. Oh. I, I, I can't get views off you. I don't think it'd really be worth it. Like, nor over here. I made a... Uh, yeah, about, I'm sure you're going uh, to find, find whatever way you can. You're going to find what way you can to back off of your pussy. You're a little homemade fault. Oh yeah, you want to see Look, that? I know your mom's a dumb slut, but you can't stop acting like her. Yep, there it is, Vlad. Right there, at 940. Or no, 945, sorry. Listen to this again. You're a little hole made of hole. Oh yeah, you want to see Look, that? Look, I know your mom's a dumb slut, but you can't stop acting like her. I know your mom's a dumb slut, and you gotta stop acting like her. And he said that to a 15-year-old kid. Meanwhile, also complaining... That Zay calling him Peach's daddy is sexual harassment. Really, really think about that one. Really let that clank around in your head for a bit. Alright, man. I didn't insult your mom, but shut the fuck up, alright? Shut the fuck up, you're you a 36-year-old man. Said, retard. He Holy actually crap, didn't, man. from what but, I recall. Yeah. I don't think he actually did insult his mom. I don't think Jax actually did insult Leo's mom. He insulted the fact that Leo was possibly living with his mom. Yeah, he was forced to talk to school officials and a cop when he arrived at school. He said after they saw the video, they laughed it off. Yeah, exactly. As any school probably would. Yes, and you're a 15-year-old on the internet trying to act hard because you think you're smart when you're really tiny. You're a little bull- He grandstanded me about my Slimmer's tweet, LMFAO. Yep, yeah, eat it up, eat it up. This is all the stuff you guys needed. Boy, are you kidding me? Yeah, you, you want to test that theory out? You you want to test you that really out? You really want to try it? 
Yeah, I want to send you to the ER. I want a reason to send you to the ER. You're not going to send anybody to the ER. This isn't Grand Theft Auto. Now he's challenging a 15-year-old to a fight in Texas? Okay. You're not tough. You want to bet on that, man? I ain't scared for you. I ain't scared of you, man. Scared for me? And scared so of you, are you not scared for me? You're not scared of me because you kind of studied there. Oh my okay, god. Okay, so you struggle with English. That's why you're still in school. Yes. Yeah. What? Catherine's supposed to be up there. Go get your mom. Bring her out here. Bring your my mother sister, out. Right. Why is he always trying to get people's parents involved? Like, it's not their issue. Right now. Yeah, my mom's deaf. Talk Let's talk to your mom. Oh, cool. Then I can, I can sign language to her. Go get your dad. How are you gonna. Hi. That is the. Pro... Oh, what the fuck? Did Leo just actually say that? He said my mom's deaf, and Leo says, Oh, so I can sign language to her. How? How are you gonna do that if this is a voice call, Leo? <laughs> Excuse me? Dad's deaf too. What the f- Oh, okay, so now we're making excuses. I thought you were hard. So you're online, caught in trouble, with two disabled parents- Their morals exist only when- <laughs> Oh yeah, listen to this. Uh, Gil uh, Vlad pointed this out in our interview. I thought this was funny. Okay, so now we're making excuses. I thought you were hard. So you're online, caught in trouble, with two disabled parents that you should be taking care of. You're pathetic. Should be taken care of? They could take care of their Look, sons. Get their I know that you're probably with your Yeah, he's... <laughs> you didn't have to cut me off. But you didn't have to cut me off. I'm pretty sure mutual combat in Texas only applies to other adults. Yeah, I cut this part out because I didn't want to include the kid's family. Oh, well, we can skip over this. Well, I feel like it's almost over anyway. But yeah, um... Yeah, he says my parents are deaf. And Leo says, oh, you should be ashamed. You should be taking care of them because they're disabled. And he says, I said they were deaf, not retarded. They can take care of themselves. Just another example of Leo also being ableist and not understanding how disabilities work at all. Your parents would have one type of language. What? <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. My name's Leo. I'm a fucking retard. 36-year-old man that makes fun of it. Not keep going? Okay. Ha uh, ha I'm totally not a hypocrite. I think it's funnier. I think it's funnier. I'm not a hypocrite because I'm not a teenager. Huh. Uh, make note of that. I'm not a hypocrite because I'm not a teenager. Good logic there, Leo. Aw, uh, yeah. It's almost over. Uh, we're only a little bit halfway through, and uh, sure. like because of how many times I pause, it's going to be a lot longer than it really is. Sure, man. Can you even explain to me what a hypocrite is? Uh, well, someone that says something they do. Uh, you're saying, you know, our little teenage internet drama is dumb. You're the one threatening yeah, a 15 year old. You're just sad, man. You're you're what sad, look, look, look. What I recommend, what I recommend. What did I threaten you with? You said you were going to come to his house and that you were dead serious. I feel like Leo just says things and then he forgets that he said them. Because why take accountability for the things that you've done if you can just forget that you ever did them, right? Shotgun. What? Right? Well, He'd probably just use the excuse of, I'm old. I threaten you with. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Follow instructions. What did I threaten you with? Alright. The fucking call my school and ruin my life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. after, oh yeah. After you stand your mouth about having guns and shooting people, that's what I threatened you with. I say if you after came to my house. After you made a stupid comment, so that's on your side. You're not gonna be dick. Oh you're gonna my god, there, you're, you're a gonna cry when the calls over. Something and fifty on the air. This is sad, man. Just wait. Yes, oh my god. god. It is hilarious because you are spurging out over it. You're spurging out over it. What the fuck? Well, what the fuck? Oh. Sorry. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, so, Jax, I, I... It seems like Jax is pretty respectful to his parents. So, I don't know. I can see why, though, Jax would learn that he is able to yell so much in his own home. If his parents are deaf, then he's able to yell and scream all he wants with impunity in his own home, which makes a lot of sense. Which explains a lot of the, uh, yelling he does <laughs> in- in this argument. However, Leo does not have that same excuse, because I can just imagine him just randomly yelling at kids while his wife is able to hear his screaming in the other room. Can you imagine how sad and depressing that is? Just listening to your husband yelling at kids all fucking day? Jeez.
Again, Leo's ableist behavior against people with mental and physical problems. People, yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Dragged, yeah, I dragged you in. Like, he accuses other people of being ableist, but he's just showing how he's far more ableist than anyone else has been so far. Yeah, I, I can tell that they're deaf. I can tell. And Jax's behavior reflects that, too. ...to, to try and <laughs> help you? Um, and, and oh, Lyle, okay, Lyle, you get this Leo retard to shut the fuck up? And, and, and Lyo was... How? Was, Seraphine has just said, like, uh, Leo's trying to help you. How? What? How, what anything that he said, name one thing that he's said or done in this conversation that could be perceived as helpful. Going to actually <laughs> say something worth of value before you, you acted, like, so hostile. How do you know that? <laughs> He's the one that acted hostile by coming in and yelling, Shut up, Jax. And then also, he should be afraid of him. I just keep reminding you of this because it's pretty important to note to, to call this out. Well, you like that? Well, he isn't part of the situation, really. He told me to shut the fuck up, so... Mm, I, I, I did, I this kid has good memory. He's got good memory. For a shit talker. Well, he's also... I want a reason to... Leo just says something and he forgets he ever said it. Poor baby, I'm mad because Make I'm me! Shut the fuck up! Make me, Lyle! You sure? Make you want me. me to do that? You want me to do that? Server mute? Yeah, thought so. That's the only way he can- That's the only way he can ever get his voice heard. There you go. Now you're shut up. It's amazing. It's like I could click a button or something. God, you're stupid. What I said previously is what I meant. Nora, is this all really necessary? What are you two actually fighting about here? Something See, he doesn't even know! He doesn't even know what they're fighting about! And he comes in here and thinks he's going to spout these words of wisdom, and that never happens, by the way. He doesn't even know what they're arguing about. Alright, you want me to be honest here? Because that that is essentially- Also, I talked to Jax. He actually is a good kid. He's just a teen with anger issues, just like every other teen. And again, if he has deaf parents, he's learned over time that he can scream and holler as much as he wants to at other people on the internet and not face consequences for it, like, on his side of the screen, right? So that reinforces that that sort of, like, oh, I can just yell at people on the internet and I can take out my anger issues that way. I'm not saying that's a fault of his, I'm just saying that he's this is, like, learned behavior, considering his age. And it makes sense. Proper Discord moderator behavior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only, the only thing we're fighting about is that... Well, one, he basically yeah. harassed me on several occasions. He sent porn what to me. He had shared you? porn with Jack, my friends what, in a what, voice call. Speak. Speak. Wait, 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 wait. I did Jax, not share the Nora. porn. That was Hot Dog Man. Jax, let Nora speak. They're also, they're also calling uh, this Microsoft Paint dick pic porn. Just wanted to keep that in mind. But again, and you're going to need to get muted until you stop being stupid online. Continue. Okay. So had harassed me, had encouraged people to raid me, and had also participated in the raids. He had shared porn with me. He had allowed people to share porn with other minors in a voice call. And along with this, I have been told that he's basically sending other people to harass people that have basically had enough of his bullshit. It's all okay. that this boils down to, and it's honestly sad. He did not want it to get to this extent, and now it has. And I made it very clear people that he was playing a game of telephone with, I made it very clear to them, I made it very clear to him, that I did not want any more part of What does this other 14-year-old have these guys on speed dial? It's a good question. This. I had made it clear that I didn't want to get into contact with this- Jax also told me in the call that he was actually afraid Leo would take him away from his- that Leo would get him taken away from his parents. Not his home, his school, or his stuff. It was very wholesome to hear. <laughs> I don't know how that's wholesome. To hear that, that sounds awful. This absolute fucking retard. And of course, he does not listen to reason. And, well, here we are. Well, yeah, because he feels like he got something to prove. He has absolutely no direction in his life. It's pretty sad. I guess we're still playing bingo, so we'll just put uh, blindly taking one side's word. Purely because he doesn't like the other side. Granted, you're not much better. Let's get that straight right now. How do you know that? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm, by I'm just not that much blocking better. him. Block. I'm not done. Block him. 
block his uh. friends. And if you two just keep making stupid little pot shots at each other in your goofy little YouTube channels, you deserve what you get. Now, as far as you, Jax, you clearly need a little more direction in life because either your parents are absentee parents or they just haven't smacked you in the mouth enough. Either your parents are absentee parents, the deaf parents. How late am I? Not very late. We're going to cover one more thing after this. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. It was wholesome because most teens aren't thinking of their family first. Oh, yeah, no, I get that part. I was talking about the part where he was afraid he was going to get taken away from his parents. Oh no, daddy's not done talking yet. I have the talking stick. Uh, but uh, hello Cassie. But uh, we're going to cover his conversation with pizza after this. Because Vlad sent that over to me. Um, and that, that call will be him explaining what we're looking at right now. Like, after the fact. Like, a year later. So, again, he says here, either your parents were absentee parents, or they haven't smacked you in the mouth enough. Implying that his parents should beat him more. Again, just showing his very antiquated views on how parenting works, and also displaying further on why he is not a parent. Sarah, are you recording this And call? shouldn't oh, be absolutely. a parent. Okay. I'm going to get a hold of people on the server. We're going to find this kid's school. Oh, oh. Dead serious. We're going to find this kid's school. Hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. Listen to me, man. Listen to me really quick, all right? No, I don't think I'm going to. Because at this point, you got yourself into this nonsense. And by the, by the, by the way, the nonsense was him just being disrespectful to Leo. You dig the people online, then when somebody finally brings it to your doorstep, you want to play games. No. This is the difference between being 36 and being 15. Better is there? Because you're not showing it. Understanding how the real world works. And yeah, I'm going to ruin your life for you making stupid threats. I'm going to ruin your life for making stupid threats. And you're going to learn that lesson the hard way. And when you are my age, if you don't anhero yourself from being stupid and ruining your own chances, maybe you'll appreciate the fact that somebody at least cared enough to put you in that situation. Because your parents clearly doesn't. <laughs> oh my god, he's saying he cares and his parents clearly don't care about him. Oh, it's the kid he threatened. Oof. Yeah, because considering I have, uh, <laughs> I had a lot of viewers. A lot of them are have fallen asleep by now. It's late. But 17 is still a lot more than I usually have. So I just wanted to remind people that tuned in for the, um, for the thing earlier. Yeah, I just wanted to remind people some of the other things that Leo has done. Bro, what the actual Kentucky Fried Frog? Yeah, yeah Frog. <laughs> And let me remind you that he actually did contact this kid's school. He actually did do all the things that he threatened to do. So it wasn't just an empty threat. It was a promise. All right. All right. And for the record, there's no E in my name. It's Leo. You were told that. It's Leo. God, you're stupid. Okay. Uh, Whatever you say, Leo. Uh, well. Huh. Uh, so you're going to call... Do you know they don't really care? All okay. right. All right. This so... Isn't their problem you are yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right, no, all right, all right, all right well, let's put that off to the side for just a moment all right so let, let, let's you know talk about the dispute here and, and then I, I think we'll be done here because it's just it's all i said pete just needs to mind her business and leo told me i had no family that loved me leo is insane yeah cassie you want to hear something good i mean you can go back and in, earlier into the stream and see it but uh and vlad can back me up on this uh, we heard Leo say in a different call that happened just last year, I believe, that uh, if he had a child and that child made the mistake of moderating in a server that a predator was in, he would murder his own child and hide the body and they would not find his body for a hundred years. That's what he said. Dead serious. Serafina is clearly uncomfortable. Even Serafina is too much of a coward to call out Leo. I don't know anything about Serafina. I lo I know literally nothing about her. Obviously got off so, the rails, even though it's you know it's been funny. But um, all right, Jax. Uh, I mean, clearly work. she and Leo were still proud enough of this of this interaction as a whole to post it onto her YouTube channel. I feel like if they were if they were not proud of this, they would have buried it underneath the dirt. Anything to do with like, it. Leo would have buried his hypothetical child, I suppose. Right. Yeah, no, I don't like... No, his friend's even going after me and putting false okay. allegations on me. Oh, okay. 
I'd be shocked if <laughs> I'd be shook if Leo adopted me. Jesus fucking Christ! Don't hey, shit. Okay, Nora. Shit that's Nora. Insane. Nora can't control other people. Yeah, no, he's acting like I can control hot dog man. That's a fucking thing. Nora, is that true? Mm, and I yeah. literally said, like, dude, you allowed this to happen. You didn't recognize You allowed your friends to harass me, dumbass. No, I, 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 literally heard, I, had, I had no knowledge. You absolute idiot. I, I have actually no have a speech on them exposing you. <laughs> your friend fucked up with his English. Your friend kind of fucked up his English and kind of exposed you. You just randomly jumped back up to 25? Anymore. Oh yeah, so I did. I don't know how YouTube works. So I can actually state my case. Uh, Dora, I want I'm you to shut both of you up. Yeah, I will shut both of you up. And you know I will, because I've already done it to you several times. If you guys have friends... If you guys have friends that are dicking with each of you, here's what you do. You stop being friends with them if they don't understand that you need to knock it off. Yep, break up friend groups. That's how you solve a dispute. It's that simple. That way you don't wind up in a Discord call with two other adults trying to explain the fact that- well, Leo just saying, pick one side or the other, instead of working it out, I guess. For the record, this kid saying, a dirt is so funny to me. <laughs> Leo has also told me to kill myself in a way that wouldn't inconvenience others because of me saying Peaches needs to stay in her lane. Did he happen to say something along the lines of, uh, remove yourself from the census? Mind you, he claims he only says he tells that to predators. Yeah, I mean, as we showcased before, he told a literal 13-year-old, or who he believed to be a 13-year-old at the time, to kill themselves, or quote-unquote, remove yourself from the census. <laughs> Atheist vibes. Speaking of that, I have reason to believe that Leo is botting his Twitter followers. I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about Twitter. Where the comments are a bunch of Wojaks dropping their jaw at Leo Lamau. Well, this yeah. person said this thing, this person said that thing. You'll, you'll find, I remember this, but uh, when I read the comments on this, and we'll probably see it, it's just a lot of people sucking Leo's dick, um, or trying to claim that what Leo is doing here is somehow tough love, or that he's teaching the kid a life lesson. But, like... What's the lesson here? Talk shit, get hit? Again, he's 15. I don't know, man. You need to control your friend. Well, you need to control your friend. Simple. If your friend doesn't respect you enough to knock it off and stop going after somebody that you already squashed this issue with, then they're not your friend. I have a clip of him saying in private call that he hopes someone that he merely doesn't like should self-delete. Yeah, so this isn't like an uncommon thing for him or that he only exclusively tells predators slash harassers to kill themselves. They're antagonizing you. It's been proven it's time and time again that that is not the case. Friends. Preferably not on the internet. Makes right. sense? Yeah, pretty much. Leo recently disowned one of his kids. Yep, that's uh, in Kumo's trailer if you want to see that. He disowned one of his kids, being Mint Heart, because they disagreed with Peaches. Um, shows how much of a great dad he is. And by the way, for those of you who are tuning in and don't know this, Jordan, her, Jordan themselves has said that Leo has disowned them and they have moved out of Leo's house by now. And the reason why Jordan was disowned was because Peaches didn't like him. Just keep that in mind. That's pretty much what I was going to lead to. I mean, this is this is pretty simple for the both of you. Shouldn't it? It should be. Or... Um... This reminds me of Beyond Scared Straight, when they purposefully try to get these kids mad, and then get mad that they get mad. <laughs> yeah, basically. It is pushing somebody to react, and then judging them for their reaction after you've been pushing them constantly. The police would be on Leo's ass in a heartbeat. Also, Leo lives in Houston, that's literally 30 miles from here. And Houston, Texas police will be on his ass in a heartbeat for child murder. Oh, you're talking about if he murdered his hypothetical child. Probably. I don't know. I was just asking him, do you know people who have done that, Leo? <laughs> now, I know Leo doesn't know I've attempted self-deletion multiple times, but that's also why you don't tell randos to off themselves over a simple disagreement. Yeah, we've had this discussion before. Um, and it's not one I want to get into again, because <laughs> I know Vlad's here, and I do not want to get into that argument again. 
Ugh. I want to try and keep things on track, but yes, I agree with you. All else fails. Come to Texas when you're 18 and beat the stuffing out of each other because it's a mutual. The kid told me he apologized. Yeah, yeah. He felt like he was forced to apologize to even Leo. He apologized to even Leo because people were pressuring him to. Combat state. Oh my God! Could you imagine a kid being gaslighted into feeling like they're the one who need they're the ones who need to apologize when being bullied? No way. Yes, Akumu. Yes. Yep. I uh, I don't remember exactly where it is. It's in the uh in the four hour call that I sent you. I don't remember exactly where. I know it was before Ponder jumped in. It was somewhere around that point. Uh, it was somewhere within the last hour of the call. But it is in there. I'll say I'll say it one more time before I shut up about it. But he said that um. If he had a child, which he doesn't, thank God, if he did have a child, and he found out that child did something similar to what Rosa did, which is just being a moderator in a bad Discord server that had a predator in it, he would murder his child. That's what he said. <laughs> Three hours, 20 minutes? Oh, okay. Let's, let's, uh... Let's go back and find it, shall we? Because I want people to make sure that they hear this right. Um, earlier, What's up? earlier when you were talking to Rosa, can Rosa explain to Blue and I why Rosa said, and I was driving home in the car when you said this might those, take a Rosa. bit of scrubbing. Hang on. What Neko pun? <laughs> is I Oh, here we go. Can Hold I on. please go now? Because your parents failed to raise you with any common sense. If I had a child that did the stunt you did, oh, buddy, they wouldn't find them. They would not find them. That's one thing I've absolutely picked up from my old man. If you pull some stupid crap like that, they might find your body in a marsh about 100 years from now. There you go. Three hours and 20 minutes in, and 30 seconds, roughly. The Senate has four-hour Discord calls, but I'm the one with no life and needs to get a hobby. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll move on to the next video, because I'm sure this, the rest of this is just uh, Serafina yapping. Alright, the next one... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well... Okay, it's only 40 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna play this, and I hope you guys can hear it. It's a little bit quiet, so I'll try to, I'll try to shut up. Um, if it's too quiet, just let me know. But this, okay, what, uh, shit, what, um, what was the date, Vlad, what was the date on this again? Because when I saw it in your video, it had a date on it. When, what was the date of this call? Because I know it was sometime in 2023, right? Like, July of 2023? They also lost their, oh, and that's why they told me, that's what they told me when talking about, ne talking with Nezzy. Um, they also lost their shit because I wouldn't apologize over pronouns. They flat out said they waited seven hours for Kulana fan to get in a call with them. Yeah, these guys don't have lives. They really don't. Uh, but anyway, this is him talking about about a year later. So March of 2023. Okay, so this is almost a little bit more than a year later after this incident. This is Leo talking about the exact same thing that we just went over. And his justifications for doing what he did. Dreadful Jax. You want to know what happened with him? He was pulled into call. Independently. Not given any roles. To try to get him to stop beefing with some other dumb kid. I hop in the call and Jax loses his mind. Threatens to shoot me. Threatens to do all this. Couldn't call his parents. Because they're deaf. Which is why he gets away with this nonsense. So instead I just called his school. Because as you know, Pizza, we live in the United States of America, where school shootings are pretty common. Oh shit, god damn it. I realize if I go to a different... I realize if I go to Dreadful a different... Dreadful Jacks. God damn it, sorry. Because they're deaf. Which is why he gets away with this nonsense. So instead I just called his school. Because as you know, Pizza, we live in the United States of America, where school shootings are pretty common. And the last thing I want 
is to have this idiot pop off his mouth about how he's been in gangs and how he's hurt people and how he has guns and do nothing only to find out oh, the kid went psycho and killed people. That's his justification. When nowhere in that call was school shootings were school shootings ever mentioned until Leo is the one who brought it up about contacting his school. And so now he's trying to sit here ahead of time being like he was threatening to shoot me, and I wouldn't be doing my civic duty if I just let someone who threatened to... I mean, like, uh, just because of how pot, like how common school shootings are in our day and age in, in this land of America, I would just feel so awful if people got hurt because of this maniac. Like, really trying to morally justify it, so to speak. However, he knows in that call... He made it very clear that he knew that was a lie, or it would have been a lie, or it was a lie, because he called the school and told them as much. He said, I'm gonna ruin your life over dumb shit on the internet. So, with that in mind, my question is, if he genuinely thought that this kid, Dreadful Jax, was gonna shoot up his school or shoot somebody, or hurt somebody with these guns. Why didn't he call the fucking police? Why did he call the school and not the police? You know what? You want to know what I think? It's a rhetorical question, but I think he called the school and not the cops because he knew it was a lie. He knew it was false. And making false reports in the U.S. to the police is a crime. He didn't want to get in trouble legally for this. Because he knew that this was a lie. That's why he calls the school and not the cops. When Leo called the school, he claimed to the school that Jax intended to attack the school. He went purposefully out of his way to make Jack seem as malicious as possible. And he knew that if he called the cops with this information and not the school, and it's easily disproven, just as easily as it was when, he, when the school was contacted, he would be in serious legal trouble for that. At least, at the very least, he could be sued. At most, he could be charged criminally with, I think, at least a misdemeanor. I feel like anyone who's been victimized by school shootings would be livid with Leo. I, again, I feel like this is the most insidious and self-serving thing he's ever done. And instead of recognizing what he did was wrong, or being remorseful for it, he gloats, he lies about it, and then declares victory instead. Which, speaking of that, I think we can put declaring victory, and that gives us two bingos, actually. Yeah, two bingos. The only thing we didn't get, unfortunately, was Bible Man, but that's okay. But yeah. He called their school, lied to them, saying that he was going to shoot up the school. And that's why... I mean, if he genuinely thought that was a thing, why wouldn't he call... If that was going to happen, why wouldn't he call the police? Because he knew it was a lie. And that's why I bring so much attention to this clip. We still need a triple. I'm not going to do more Leo stuff. I'm exhausted, man. I don't want to do more Leo stuff. <laughs> I'm tired. I feel like this needs to be given more attention, though. That's why I hamper on about it so much, and I bring it up in almost every stream where I talk about these two, is because this has never been addressed. He never apologizes for the wrongs he did in the past. He's never owned up to them. He's never recognized they were wrong. And he's even made excuses for them or lied about them, at worst. So, even if Leo is trying to do this, uh, this sort of brand change where maybe he may or may not be a predator hunter anymore, or they're trying to change the Senate to be a nicer, more fluffy safe space, he's clearly not remorseful for these things. As Vlad would say, it's about optics. It's about how it looks to him. 
Leo is exhausting. That's how he go. That's how he gets away with bullshit because nobody has the energy to put up with him. Yeah. It's tragic that so many were just okay with that Serafina video. I don't think most people have seen it. And people that have just try to brush it off as like, oh, he was just shit-talking this kid and giving them tough love. A life lesson, you could say. When really, he genuinely attempted to ruin this kid's life. Imagine if they swatted his house instead. Imagine if the school pressed the panic button and called the police and they swatted Jax's house. Something really dangerous, like somebody could have died. His parents could have been hurt. He may have threatened to ruin a kid's life, but you can't say that he doesn't respect pronouns. <laughs> yeah, might as well, since I'm bringing it up north. I pinned it for a reason, so I might as well bring it up. But, uh... We were shared, uh, some screenshots, uh, from October, I guess. I'm zoomed in so much, holy shit. We'll go over this, alright? So this is the Senate, and this was, uh, new rules written... Uh, they, they said December. North says this was written in December. Um, and then there's an add-on rule. Uh, that was written in, let's see, October. So I know at least this one is October. Where they say this server is not a pedo hunting server. Um, but this one, I'm pretty, just based on what people have told me, it was in December. It's kind of annoying when it lists it as, like, today at 1042 or yesterday. Instead of just waiting until it shows the dates. No, we're not going to go over all the rules. Um, it kind of bothers me the way that, th that this is cropped. But apparently these are new rules that were made last month. Or that were adjusted last month. So, Peaches, who is, who is indeed Leo's spoiled brat in that Discord. So what Zay was saying wasn't a lie. Um, welcome to the Senate Discord server. This is a server for adults who want to come out of their shell. The Senate, TM, I, they, they trade, I strongly, I, I don't think that they actually trademark that. That's so pretentious. I think it's really funny that they try to make it out like they TM'd this. Uh-huh. The Senate, trademark, used to primarily be a drama information hub, but has branched out for many other purposes to make a fun, barbarian, in quotation marks, environment for all types of people. This server also provides a safe place for people to resolve conflict with other people, or host calls for debates and disagreements within reason. Just as a quick reminder. I never said I would... You found a fucking fifth year. You found yeah, the in the cops in my house. Are you a fucking I, I, retard? I, 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 Are you? A that sounds pretty resolved to me, if I don't say so myself, or if I do say so myself. I'm sorry, I can't talk. The server. Okay, yeah. Come for the drama, stay for the antics. One of the rules being no troll shielding or bullying. Uh, the Senate has a reputation over the years of having aggressive ways of talking of tackling situation and calls. You don't say, Peaches. Such a reputation caused conflict resolution to default to mindless bullying. Let's be constructive. Uh-huh. Any confrontations must have a moderator present and the calls must adhere to the previous rules. No moderator, no call. Queen Serafina's server has a recent name change to the House of Representatives, TM. Why are they, like, fake trademarking their shit? <laughs> Above all, no child-slash-animal abuse content or apol apologia. Uh, or apologia? <laughs> I have no idea. Leo Convoy may not be doing predator hunting anymore. Aww, cue the sad faces. But the subject may arise due to the nature of the online sphere, 
Conversations of such topics will stay in serious discussion. However, there is a very strict rule against posting child or animal abuse content as well as spreading apologia. And obviously, suspicious activity around minors or animals can and will result in you being reported. And then tagged on to this was this post, this introduction by, not introduction, but this post from someone named Norden in the Senate. Um, and if you remember, this was the person in those screenshots with the 13-year-old actively telling the 13-year-old to kill himself and also sending weird half-naked pictures to the 13-year-old, I think. Is that right, Vled? It's been a while. But I assume this was around the same time, I hope. It bothers me that these don't have exact dates on them. Yeah, that's right. He was he was half naked wearing lingerie. That's right. That's right. All right. Norden says at everyone, "Hello, I'm Norden, but most of you might know me as the giraffe-loving, most sexy mod in here." Absolute facts aside, I am here to tell you that I'm stepping off from the mod staff and leaving the server. Changes are coming that I'm not agreeing with, so I see no reason for me to stay. Why am I saying this? Because I'm telling the rest of you whether the storm... Oh, I'm telling the rest of you to weather the storm and stay through the growing pains of said changes. Even though he's leaving. He's saying other people should hold on. Okay. What Leo is trying to build here is for the best of your members. This will be a place where you can learn and grow, both as individuals and, and as a community. It's just not a place for me. I have been here since the start and before. My fondness for the shenanigans of the old days are so strong, I will not be able to not unfairly compare the server to what it used to be. So for the betterment of me and the server both, I'm leaving. Or I leaving, sorry. I am what you might call a relic of the past and will just be in the way. I- this is such a- such a cringy goodbye post. I am, and always will be, more smexy than all of you. Good luck, all of you fucking retards. Kill yourself and take care. So, uh, yeah, okay. Wah, I don't get to sexually harass minors anymore, wah! Safe server, Uwu, while the mods and their favorite little buddies will degrade their members solely over the general role being called peanuts. Really? So why is Leo's community server 16 plus? And Serafina's? What? Why is there a difference there? Like, are they not talking about these subjects in these other servers? I highly doubt it. But yeah, that's that. And of course, there was this add-on in... Oh no, this was December. God, I can't read. Okay, so this was December 27th, 2023. I said it was October earlier. I apologize. To add on to rule number three, this server is not a pedo hunting server. Here are some links to submit information on a predator. Here are some links to do some... To do so for people who can send it to the proper authorities. Weird that it took somebody else in the server to properly give people these resources, but not Peaches or Leo, but whatever. He just deleted all announcements since then, Enla? Really? Like, all of these? Or, like, not these rules, but like... What do you mean by that? I'm not in their Discord, so I can't possibly know what they do in there. People might think I have spies in there. I don't. <laughs> I wish I did, because that'd be fun. But that being said, I have to make a disclaimer. I don't want anyone to spy on the Senate for me. Yada yada yada, just to get that disclaimer out of the way. I'm just making a joke. But yeah. I don't know what y'all are still sticking around for. I'm going to be done soon. <laughs> FYI, the FBI does jack... Sh just jack and shit. That image above the not a pedo hunting server is from Serafina's. Really? So wait, okay. Well, now I'm confused because 
North gave these screenshots to me saying that they were from the Senate. So are they not from the Senate? I'm gonna go spy on the Senate now. I don't need you to. No idea why the announcement channel was deleted, but I'm sure one mod using it to spam everyone to demand people play Gardic Phone and getting it mass muted didn't help. Uh, that's funny. So these ones are in Serafina's channel. But these are the Senate. The one with the rule three I took, and it's from Serafina's. Okay, well, see, this is the first screenshot, and this is the second screenshot. Okay, I know it was a little bit hard to follow. Sorry. Okay, so this one is from Queen Serafina's server. Okay, I got it now. So this one is not from the Senate. And this one is from the Senate. Okay. Considering it's North that sent me these, I'm not at all surprised that he misunderstood some things. You were told these were from Senate? Okay, well, apparently these ones are. This one is not. I mean, it's, it literally is from the Senate, unless they're lying, because it says the Senate TM. Correct. Too many discords full of idiots. I agree. That's why I don't join all that many of them. Ugh, what a fucking mess, am I right? But hey, at least we won bingo twice. Could have been three times, but... Whatever. Wait, what's that? Well, hold on, I hear something in the distance. You can't cast out Satan with Satan! Oh my god, that's a Bible thing! Yeah, we got it, guys! We got it! That's three bingos! Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Alright, we can call that a day. <laughs> at least for, um... At least for this. I don't know, I, I feel like... Nah, I'm good, actually. I'm gonna stop the stream. But hey, guys, this has been really fun. And I'm... I'm really, uh, shocked and appalled. That so many people have come out to watch this. <laughs> I really appreciate it, though. And I hope you come away from this learning something. And uh, if you think it's informative or helpful at all, or even constructive, or just a little bit silly, you can share it with your friends. You can share it all over the place. You can share it on my face. And, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream now before I get stupider. Uh... But, uh, this has been fun. And thank you so much for watching. I will be back next Friday. And of course, you can join my Discord to stay up to date with whatever the fuck I'm doing, which isn't much. Uh, we also post really cool art in there. And, uh, yeah. And music. And music, too. Alright. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye! What? Okay, Vlad says, hold on, I'm gonna send a screen cap. Okay, okay. R real quick, we have an encore here. Vlad wants to send me a screen... He wants to send me a screen cap. No, 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 I'm still here, don't worry. This is why I always let the stream roll for a little bit before I end it. GG. Okay, okay, last thing, last thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to psych you guys out. Of course, Vlad waits until the last minute. This had better be good. What is this? Is it just proof that she's wiped the announcements channel? I'll, I'll bring this up on screen, hold on. It's just, it's not that much content, honestly. It's just something that Vlad really, really, really wanted me to see, for some reason. But I guess this is proof that the announcements channel in the Senate, right? In the Senate got wiped? Is that right? Hey, just joined the Discord. Welcome!
Yeah, but this is, uh, this is Peaches saying on December 19th, 2023, Hey, Peanuts, since I've murdered the announcements channel, you guys get a second ping for Leo's latest video. So I guess it's just proof that she, uh... Well, I, I, I wouldn't... I mean, it's a weird thing to lie about, but people have lied about work, uh, less in the past, I guess. Damn, I missed... Did the Rosie... Did the Rosa call make you angry? We only watched the last hour of it, but it's it was all pretty fascinating. And then we watched some other stuff. But, uh... Yeah, I wanted to see... Uh... Peaches really dig into Leo. But anyway, yes, uh, sorry, I'm about to I'm about to end it. But hey, the VOD will be up for uh, until the end of time, or it gets copyright struck. I don't fucking know. We'll f we'll figure it out. Take it one step at a time. But uh, all right, I'm going for real this time. Uh, thank you to Vlad for ruining my my send off. So I'm already bad at them. But uh, all right. <laughs> And yes, they did make me angry, by the way. Okay. I'll see you guys next Friday. Friday morning, same as usual. Again, I do Fridays in the morning, Saturdays at night. So, whichever one fits for you, you can come see that one. Alright, bye-bye. I meant ponder... Oh, god, god damn it. I meant ponder... I said peaches, but I meant...